All right. Bum, bum. Look at him already humming along like he's happy to be here. Oops. We all, what is this cheating? I am DQing oh. him immediately. <laughs> oh God, I'm DQing him immediately, dude. Just, the guy just starts early. Uh, all right, so quick recap of what the SMZ3 Grimace Memorial Harkey's Random Gold Tournament oh my is. God, we're starting boots and random items. I'm starting with. Andy, Ooh. can you please, can you please just stop for once? Uh, yeah, basically, uh, hard keys, random goal, and SMZ3, so we screen. don't... Andy, I please. do not. Andy! Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's basically just, we don't know what is going to be required to enter G4 and get to Turing. We don't know what's going to be required to get yep, into GT. We don't know what's the required keys, baby. to get... To I'm kill Ganon! Stop! He's he's still doing it. All right, guys, I'm just gonna wait for them to start. Annie is the only one to ready up, and then we'll be able to get going on this. Uh, I have your last goal here. I'm sure just gonna my, change uh... that for you guys real quick. Uh, I can do that real real quick. Uh, random settings. All right, I'm probably not gonna talk too much, just to not ruin the the restream. Yeah, but you I'll, better I'll not. I'll keep my mic on and blurt out occasional shit talk. What is this? He's giving us the DL. That's download, by the way. That's the download. Fuck you, Solsky. What is this? You can't see that. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, actually, you can. Sorry. Um, This is a non... Wait, why didn't it... Hello? Oh, you know what? Because I got to switch to this. That's why. I. You know, I smart. I set it up as a default. You guys are all laughing. I... You're laughing with us, hopefully. You're not laughing at me, right? You would never do that. All right, looks like everyone's starting. There might be a bit of a delay, guys. I'm going to maybe try to pause Andy's by just a smidge here. Okay, he's just a dick, and his Twitch kind of went ahead anyways. You know what, guys? We're just going to have to put up with a little bit of delay, all right? We're going to have to deal with a little bit of Twitch delay here. That's okay. Uh, I have to cra I have to cast through like my actual Chrome windows today. <laughs> my uh, I don't know why, but my my setup kind of died. Uh, but we have both Andy and Nate going through. I do not know what their random item is yet. Um, we see a one key card here on the island. Please, someone, for the love of God, menu or something. We got a book here for Andy. Nate is going right to Eastern. What is this? All right, let me just peep into one of their streams. The starting item is Moon Pearl today. Oh my God, look at that. Finals starting item, guys. Dark World Access. That's kind of that's kind of cracked, not gonna lie. Starting Moon Pearl? You know, I probably prefer Morph, but a Pearl's pretty good. We see Brinstar is gonna be the green pendant today. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of info in a real big hurry, so I'm just gonna pay attention to this real quick before we track that. Uh, we see an LM1 keycard here for Nate at Sahashrila, and we also know now that Brinstar is our green pendant. Nothing here at Uncle for Andy. Get owned, Andy. I hope this is the continual trend for him moving forward. Um, I mean, the guy's great. I hope he does well in this tournament, you know. Nate is going to action to Eastern. This is like, this is like circa 2019 soul ski play here. I'm very proud of Nate right now. AKA IE754. Uh, if you th ran that through like some kind of, I don't know, Google like voice thing. Will like ChatGBT count for that? Or would it just be like the voice assistant? Uh, Brinstar level two key card. Good point to call out with, uh, with the starting boots. Uh, these guys, you know, it's built into logic. So it's not something where you're like, oh, well, do they have the boots? Like, does it is it going to have items fill and kind of think about that when it does the item fill? Yes, it's going to encounter for boots. So the game is actively putting Bryn 2 keycard there for them early. Did Nate get a Hyrule Castle key? Hold on. He did get a Hyrule Castle key. That's so sneaky. That's so sneaky getting that before going to Hyrule Castle. What else is he getting here? He, honestly, if I were Nate, I would not want to see anything else here. I would just want that key and leave. Like, I would be very happy. And the reason why is like, he can get an early, that like really early free look at all of Castle. 
ahead of maybe an early morph in say Kakriko. So we'll see how this one plays out. We're gonna get the early forecast from Andy. Uh, but we're also gonna see kind of what's uh what's going on on young Nate's side here. Yeah, Andy finding like really nothing here. We see another key for Turtle Rocks. That's another good find. Nate is actually gonna bail on the rest of Eastern here. There's one more check at a logic he can do at Eastern uh, Big Key. Uh, but he's like, you know what? No, I don't want it. I don't want it. That's okay though. You know, it's an option. You can skip, you can do it. It's, you can do what you want. You're a grown ass man playing a grown ass man's game, you know? Andy's going into the Goat Sea house. I have no idea why. Um, I don't know if it's because of this. Um, I'm just going to assume he did that by mistake, thinking this is cross keys. All right. <laughs> All right, Andy's going to go ahead into the lion's basement now. Nate is now going to get the early intel in the lumberjacks area. Missile, rubies. Uh, another key card, so we have Meridi level 2. We got a lot of SM key cards, really. And a big key for Ganon's Tower. Alright, that's really nice. That's really nice. And, uh, and 300 rupees. Alright, so, not like a whole lot going on in terms of progression, but, uh, you're getting a lot of keys. That's kind of nice. He was bomb farming? Guys, like, get your, like, high level 2023 20, Link to the Past strats out of here, right? Like, I'm stuck in 2017, all right? Like, when it comes to this stuff, right? Like, I'm just, I'm small brain, right? I play video game. You laugh. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the gist of it, right? Don't think about randomizer. Uh, glove here. That's the first, like, real big item we've probably seen. All seeds so far. So we do have that glove. So that Hyrule Castle key for Nate, unfortunately, uh, not really the hot button item it once looked like it was going to be. The Grugged Brain Caster. Yeah, that's me. You know what, though? Oh, my God, Andy, please. I would rather be the Grugged Brain Caster than the guy that's like, actually, you know, randomizer logic would dictate that I would go here instead of here because my odds are infinitely greater. Nate's doing the same play. What is this? Am I that far behind? Am I that bad now? Oh my God. Andy buying more bombs with that bomb upgrade he got from the bottle vendor. Uh, Nate is going to collect all his goods from here from blind so it was basically just money uh and you're gonna check the back of tavern let's get some arrows nothing else pretty boring not gonna lie we got pearl we got glove uh maybe early dark world access so sure we'll have to wait and see i think it is gt big key i don't know guys like back three next oh there's a bottle <laughs> like probably the worst spot imaginable hate seeing the bottle there bottle there or um bottle and race game are always like the worst i think how do we know that nate isn't just playing back andy stream um but 20 seconds delayed i can authenticate the authenticity of this race all right it is street legal uh andy getting spazer here from the bottle vendor kind of trash not gonna lie uh, we are going to see a race game finally, and then I don't know what's next. I imagine back three. We'll have to wait and see. At this point, I guess Nate's big find was that TR small. But it's way too early for that, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Andy is not going to go to back three. This play dazes and confuses me. I'm not quite sure why, but... Uh... Where is he going? What is this? What is this route? Oh, he's going straight to Moldorm Cave. Okay. He's gonna he's gonna split Dam and uh, Agina then, I guess. I don't really see the diff if you do Agina Dam first and then Moldor Mice Rock Cave versus doing this first. I guess it's just preference, but I don't really. I don't really know that there's too big of a difference on time. 
There is literally nothing in this cave. He's gonna leave. He's not even gonna do Ice Rock Cave. What is this tight gameplay? From Andrew Lasso. There's back three. All right. Maybe it's one of those things where he's like, oh shit, I left my stuff in the stove. I gotta go to it. You know, I think that might be what it's what it is, or he's just being cheeky about it. I don't know. We'll never know. He's not talking. This pleases me. Uh, back three coming up for Andy. Nate just kind of climbing back in through the rest of Cat Creek, getting the rest. There's Titans for free. Real smash moment that, uh, you know what? Nate's play in the Eastern for that Hyrule Castle key is not uh, really a big factor anymore. But uh, I guess we're just going to go, yeah, King's Tomb to Dark World um, at eight minutes in. Why not? Really awkward start for SMZ3 keys. Um, outside of all the other, like, weird stuff with this mode. I think you're just going to go early Dark World, honestly. I think you're going to go early Dark World. Alright, Nate getting that book. I completely missed what Andy got. It probably sucked anyways. He got a hammer. Never mind. It didn't suck. Um... <laughs> Now he has a weapon. Now he's 100% going into Dark World. There ain't no way. Nate's gonna give us our first look at Dam. This is li literally D-Gen strats. Skipping Dam here. This is literally D-Gen strats. Pod small key. Our first one. All right. All right. Yeah. And he's gonna get our first look here in Dark World. He's gonna go and pick up the fit. Oh, I I can't watch, guys. This this is triggering me here. Oh my, oh my God! Please, why? <laughs> you know, if I gave maniacal shit for doing that two years ago, I'm, I'm gonna have to give Andy shit here. <laughs> I just I just hate seeing people pick up those bushes. It's so it takes so long, it's so slow. Uh, how long until the MasterCard plot armor play of the day, TM? Um, we'll have to wait and see. There's been zero plot armor so far. Uh, criteria level 2 for Andy. Alright, so that basically... Oh god, Nate, please don't die here. Uh, getting butt-blasted by the bomb, butt-blasted in that pit. That's the two hearts he lost there. Andy getting x-ray. Um, yeah, nothing, like, nothing huge has been done for the plot armor here. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> like, just goes right into that Zazak there. Um, yeah, you kind of don't want to run into those. Uh, you know, the two hearts of damage, they'll pretty much just fuck you up, you know? Kind of own your day. Uh, all right, Nate's going to go to Ice Rock. Hey, we haven't seen this yet. Andy not really finding much else here in uh, Thieves Town. Does a really nice bomb death warp, though. It's kind of It's kind of snazzy. I think he's just working with what the game gave him there with that Zazak hit, so it's pretty pretty well timed. I kind of want to see a thieves big key here on Nate's side. Okay, we get supers instead. We do get a TR big key here on Andy's side at the distillery. Distillery, sorry, it's pretty free. Uh, Nate is going to continue on here in Light World, actually. So I imagine we're going to see some fake flipper and Jesus walking here. Did Andy skip C's house? I think he did, honestly. I think he did. That's uh, that's not good for our boy Andy if something is there. If you know what I mean. And uh, he's your boy, not mine, by the way. I'm just kind of, you know, you're casting. Just having a laugh, you know. Nothing here in Waterfall Cave. So Nate's making some like really strong pivot plays here in early light world, and they're just not paying off, which is a little unfortunate. Andy meanwhile is playing giga tight, um, and he's just getting rewarded as Andy does. Andy does what do does Andy wants and does. I don't know. Plot armor, etc. Uh, Nate's going back in. He's gonna check. The hobo, and he's just going to continue on after dick game. Nothing really there. 
getting reminded of that one key card in the island that the uh, both our runners are probably going to forget about. I know I am. Andy is going back to save the frog. Was this the plot all the time? Was this what is was in his plan the whole time? Is he going to C-shape next? Oh, one key card. Was it Wreck Ship 1? Oh, that's a big one to get early. Okay. With the Criteria 2 key card, too, uh, we're like a Wreck Ship boss key card away from full exploration for Nate. You know, he kind of needs a, you know, Morph Ball for that, but... Uh, in terms of like access though, he's he's looking pretty Gucci. And you can check out hammer pegs here. We're gonna see nothing. He's gonna say bon voyage. Are we sure he skipped C? I'm like 95% sure he skipped C. If Andy goes to C shape here, he planned it this whole time. This is this is some next level writing. This is a man that is in league season, whatever it is at now, six, seven. This is, this is like high quality routing, right? Are these fake boots? These are not fake boots. These are actual boots. This ain't no margarine. All right. This is, this is the butter. This is the good stuff. And he's going to take the frog with him to skull. So he's going to have to drop down, right? Like he can't go in the doorways. Unless I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? Yeah, I'm not. He's just... Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, uh... You're gonna have to go pit-wise, boy. Yeah, he can drop with him with the pit. But he can't He can't go through the doors. I think he loses it too, right? No, he doesn't. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Alright, we're one for one, guys. It's fine. Uh, Nate, I imagine, is gonna do the front of escape here as well. Krosky's brain for Andy? I, I imagine, yes. I was just questioning whether or not, like, hey, is there something in SMZ3 I didn't know about? Like, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's, it's he's just got his, his old brains in the fog, you know? It's all mucked up. It's killing the Gibdo? Guys, just bounce along. Uh, Nate having to use bomb stress here does not have the hammer yet. Has not done King's Tomb. And not really too much anything for Skull Woods except for, you know, pretty much half the game's E tanks. We are going to see here. Uh, boomerang chest on Nate's side real quick. And then in Nate's side, we're going to see the cape spot. It is silver arrows there. I just saw a real quick glimmer of that. That's kind of nice, you know, early. This need a glove, or a cape, sorry. All right, Nate should give us a view here. Oh, look at this. He knocks on Andy's side. Oh, that's a setup from Nate there. That works really well, though. I think that's better than my setup, maybe. I do mine usually closer to the chest, but that worked out really well. Uh, Annie's going to go for the Kern jump here. Misses first time. Gets it second time. All right. So now he's going to be able to cross the water here and go to Quakefish. My man's taking Green Dennis on the world tour. You know what I mean, guys? This is kind of... It's a little meme -y. I, I I'll give him that. It's a little meme -y, you know. Andy taking a death on the way to... <laughs> on the way to Quakefish. Oh, that's, that's smart. Okay, guys, remember that moment when Quakefish has something like God tier, all right? I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for Quakefish to have more at this point. I'm waiting for Quake. I'm waiting for Quake Fish to have morph. But yeah, Andy's gonna go ahead and cash in the Smith. Nate's gonna go ahead and get his hammer here. Just gonna boop, click that up there for him now. Uh, let's see what the Smith has. Sandy's so like substantially ahead in terms of like Dark World clear to Nate, but Nate's done like a lot of other pain in the ass stuff. It hasn't really worked out for him. But if Quakefish is the answer and has morph, like it could uh, ship pretty quick here, I think. 
A is gonna S and Q from here. Pretty standard play. Um, he could go down damn to Agina, or he could go hype at this point. I think he plays hype. Yeah, he's gonna play hype. Nate's gonna start where Andy started in Village of Outcasts, except he's gonna actually actually do the proper play and just lift the damn rock. <laughs> Well, again, guys, watching Andy lift all those bushes was real painful. Real painful. Oh, shit, it's Nate. It sure is. Boy, howdy. Yeehaw, etc. Um, all right, so we got a reserve here from Andy. Nate's now taking a death. Wow. Okay. The nerves, guys. The nerves. Uh, Norfair boss here for Andy. That's, Rid that's not Ridley. That is Croc. Eastern Palace big key for Andy. Okay. Nate's going to go back to Village of Outcast here. That's just a really tough place to take a death for Nate because you're not really, you haven't really done much in Village. So it's almost like you just have to, you know, go through the time loss and just go back. Skull of Misery Mire or Red Crystals? Pretty classic pairing. Now Annie is going to head towards maybe Pyramid Queen Fish here just as a redo. I feel like in his spot, if he wants to play this tight, he kind of has been. He'll probably want to go back to Quakefish at this point. He also doesn't have any pod small keys either. Like, Nate has one on him, which could be a substantial advantage yet, but it's just really too early to see. He's going to want to see, I was going to say, he's going to want to see the goal here and see what we have. One crystal to defeat Ganon. All right. Okie dokie. I didn't see what was on the ledge there. Uh, it is a small key. Probably Vaughn? Skullwoods. Okay. Buckle up, guys. It could be a quick one. Uh, we're going to have to see what GT's requirement is. First. Uh, but overall, it's looking fast already. It's looking fast. Uh, what was it? Goals. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? one yeah there we go one all right Nate now going through his foyer into thieves Just missiles at Quakefish. Unfortunate double dip of time. Andy will just flat S and Q from there. Just double checking the trackers, making sure I'm getting everything here. Criteria 2 for Nate as well. And Meridia 2. Yeah, that's what I was missing. All right. Andy side, I think I got everything. Yeah, we got everything. All right, so I guess here Andy is just going to go into escape at this point. Uh, I don't follow a lot of SMZ3. Do you have to beat Mother Brain before Ganon, or is it any order? It is any order. You can do uh, Ganon or Mother Brain uh, first. It's your choice at your leisure. Uh, the advantage of doing Mother Brain first is you won't actually get the countdown timer when you do that. Nate actually fall in there for the... I just want to highlight this. The uh, the classic swordless. Um, if you don't have a sword, you'll actually bonk when you're doing a, a hammer dash here. So, uh, But yeah, it... You know, you can do it at any time, and if you do Mother Brain first, you actually won't activate the timer, the countdown timer. It actually reduces a significant amount of uh, lag on the screen. So you save, like, I think it's like around 10 seconds, maybe. It's enough to kind of warrant, like, wanting to do it early, but you obviously want, like, a full kit before you do that. You don't want to do it, like, way too early and lose time on that. Yeah, it does unlock every beam. There's only like very, very niche, um, you know, strengths to that. Like the main one is basically the only real practical one I was able to find and I actually used was when I carried Hyper Beam down to Ridley uh, doing a Hell Run. That was like the only way I can see it ever being useful. 
And that's like with a really low kit for hell runs. It's not like if you if you're like suited out, you don't really want to do that, honestly. Randy getting his map here for LN. He's gonna try and death warp, and he does get the timing down. All right. And getting just another E tank here. So let's kind of recap what we got here. So we're starting to run out of options, honestly. I'm starting to wonder, you know, where our options lie that we haven't seen anyone go to. Uh, Pod and Desert come to mind. We haven't seen Purple Chest. We haven't seen Morph Ped. It's kind of the, the Keck W play, I guess you can call it. The uh, quote unquote, I love your mom. Shout out to Patty. Uh, Nate's going to play the arrow game here. He was thinking the X99 dream. He's not getting it. You're not that guy, Nate. You're not that guy. He has one arrow left. <laughs> I thought he was trying to talk to him. It is probably going. Bup, bup. He's just going to wait. Is he going to do this for 64 rupees every time? He's got to be thinking Zora, right? Like, just do a hula hand. What is this? What is this tomfoolery? You know? He's showing off. That's what it is. Uh, Eastern Big Chest could be bad for Nate. It could be. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Andy died on his way to Dark Cross. Skill issue. All right, Nate gonna get his information here on the red crystals, gonna be able to clear out through Hype Cave. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Desert Pod here. That's the only other things left in logic. We have, again, Eastern Big, we have Morph Pad. I can't really think of anything else. Maybe Purple Chest? Yeah, we have that too. We're pretty tight after that. There's nothing else. Like, you could go to the mountain early, but there's not really a good kit to kind of want to go there, I guess you can call it. But Andy is going to go to Eastern here and Sash. I imagine he'll follow into Eastern with what he gets out of Sash. We'll just have to wait and see. I'd be very surprised if he didn't go to Eastern, honestly, having the big key. Alright, so there's his L on one key. Gets his information on Bryn. Nate falling for the hammer pegs again. No, Nate! Takes another death here in Dark World. Oh, no. It's the big game nerves, I'm telling you guys. He's got the smith at least. He can follow up with that. So if I were Nate here and I did this, first off, I'd be saying, shit. But second off, I'd probably, uh, you know, I'd probably just go and go for purple test right away, honestly. It's kind of a nice little follow up to that. Like, I would just like, you know, the life gives you lemons kind of thing. I think, okay, I'm a little behind. What would be a sneaky play follow-up? It'd probably be Purple Chest. So we'll have to wait and see what he kind of chooses to do, to do here. Andy has elected to go into Eastern. He's going to get his Hyrule Castle small key. And uh, we'll eventually find that TR small, so I'll just kind of mark that in here for him. Nate, of course, is going to get those errors from Smith. He is not S and Qing, so that does tell me that he might be going for a Purple Chest here. I think that's a really smart follow-up, honestly, that death. I believe that is where he's going. The other play he could do with this is instead of Purple Chest, he could just go to Quakefish to Pyramid from the north as well. I think, you know, if it were me, I would just go for Purple Chest here, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Nope, Nate is going to go north here. Okay. So he's saying no. And he's going to go into Skull. Okay, I couldn't remember if you went into Skull proper or not yet. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Nate finally getting four hearts. And he's still on three hearts. Pretty... Pretty brutal start for the... For the runners on, uh, on health, honestly. It's not, uh... It's not ideal. Let's see... 
Let's see here. Well, we got an Eastern Big. What do we got? 50 bucks, so it's not here either. The book is looking sussy by the second. Um, might have the goods. Honestly, it would be hilarious if that had the goods, and that's what the logic wanted you to do. Because you had all this Dark World access, and it was just like, just go to Desert Forehead. You know what I mean? That's just classic SMZ3, honestly. It's just classic SMZ3. Andy is almost dead, but he's not dead anymore. Oh, yeah, Nate has the skull big key, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. I was going to say, he doesn't have it. He's just testing me. I passed the test. All right, this is another thing Nate did not do, uh, or elected not to do, was this check here. It's quaint. Okay. So there is some potential value here from Andy on that check. Uh, we won't know until a little bit later in the game, but, you know, I'm not going to say that's a bad find. I'm going to be in issues. I'd be pretty happy to find that. Andy now, uh, if he hasn't done damn, he has a really good route option here with desert. Uh, damn again at a desert, honestly. Let's see. I don't think he has done damn yet. He has not. So yeah, he's going to have a really good option here going in there. So that'll be his next play. Neat, meanwhile, is going to continue on back through Dark World. Is going to have to go back to Pyramid Quakefish, which is where he is kind of going to. A little surprised he's not picking up Purple Chest here, but that's okay. You know, it's how you want to route it. Um, Could have the option to split to pod, too. Good option to pod. We do have three chests in logic with one key. We have the shooter and the two chests past the first key door. I uh, could also do, you know, potion glitch or mimic clip to get the right side two items. But I think he's probably just going to stick with three if he goes there. But no, he's going to go pyramid and quick fish here. Any meanwhile, going to go to Agina. I think Nate has shown us this earlier and it was nothing. Yeah, there's the pot small for Andy. A damn. Nate's also going to get his first look at what the goal is. He's going to see one crystal Ganon. And that's like the poop moment, you know? You're like, the, oh shit. It's for real, you know? But it's also not fast cannon, so, you know. We'll see. We'll see how nice this seed is <laughs> when we finally get up to uh, GT. Conventional wisdom tells me, guys, it's never nice, so. Uh, Nate is going to go ahead and go to Quakefish, and he will go into Pyram or to Desert here. Next time, Pass Cannon. You know what? Now I know. Total has told me. And he's like, hey, why don't you read the actual website? Forehead. Why didn't you know that, you know, if you did Fast Cannon, you have Fast Turing as well? I didn't know this, guys. I thought Turing would be closed and GT would open. I thought that would be imbalanced. All right. I was thinking about, I was thinking about the runners when I made that call. All right. But now, knowing my mistake, it probably went against the runners. <laughs> I think they would have much appreciated Fast Cannon, honestly. Had I known that, I probably would have said, hey, it's Fast Cannon. But you know what? Live and learn. We'll know for next time. Uh, just red rupee here on the torch. Okay. Uh, and nothing else. So Andy is going to go ahead here. He's not going for the money. He's going to go for the key here. He's going to steal the key to desert. <laughs> okay, just kidding. He is going to go for the money too, I guess, while he's out here. Nate, meanwhile, is staying in Dark World. So that indicates to me he is going to go to pod. I think that's a great fall. Pod. It does take a hit there from the Poyo. He does not want to take a second hit. That is... Oof. That is, oof. And he's up for Death Bolt. That's real cute. I don't think that really saves any time at all. He's just doing it. There's literally nothing that can, like, kill Andy. <laughs> the next, like, set of four desert rooms, but okay. It's fine. It's safe, you know. If anything, his chances of falling down that pit dashing south would have, like, been more hazardous to him, I think. He's gonna scum it. Why do you have to be smarter than me? Like, why do you guys have to do that? But like, okay, my point, I, I guess he got, he has the pod small. So yeah, he does want to scum it. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
I understand, guys. I get it. I get it. Oh, uh, we got speed booster here. That's illegal. There's a flag on the play. Andy getting value. He's not going to save scum this now. And a small key to Castle Tower. He is not safe. He is going to keep this 100%. That is 100% the right call. Uh, meanwhile, our boy Nate's probably going to find morph here in pod. Andy is not going to SM. We have Zora in logic, guys. I just remembered that. Oh, my God. Is he going up to the mountain? And are you going to be that guy? He's going to be that guy. All right. He's going to continue to break. He's, you know what? I got speed. I got speed in desert. You know what? <laughs> Forget this, man. I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to death mountain. I don't care if it's illegal or not. I'm just going to do it. Uh, Nate, meanwhile, being a, a good old American boy and just going to stay in <laughs> the logic and pod. Good old American boy. I don't know why that sounds funny to me. Just saying it like, I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, God. Castle Tower, small key here. Interesting find. It has to be Zora, right? It has to be Purple Chester Zora now. It has to be Purple Chester Zora. That Castle Tower T does nothing for either runner. Now, Nate is going to go to desert. Um, Nate might steal that desert key. It might also get that speed in Castle Tower key. But that does nothing, right? Like, the only... Look at that, it's valuable. Oh, the smoke cave. Oh, we're going to get the refill. Neat, just hula hand this. Like, oh my god, please, stop. I can't handle this. <laughs> Andy is in, not in uniform again. Uh, he did mention something about, like, he didn't move over. Um... Sprite something or the pug files, so I gotta send him everything. But he didn't tell me that until like two minutes before this race started, so I'll send it to him afterwards sometime tonight or tomorrow. You'll see our boy back in his uh lovely thick muscled pug skin that you guys uh like. Um He already has 70 tanks. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, Nate's gonna go to New Guinea. I guess Nate didn't do a Guinea earlier. I thought he did. Okay. Dread Sprite is good, though. Yeah, it is kind of nice. It is kind of nice. I don't mind it. Um, I'm wondering what Andy's going for here. Is he doing what I think he's gonna do? Chad, if he does this, I, I... You know, I've thrown around the term hot dog a couple of times. Um, you know, he might be a ballpark Frank. So the only way Andy can get up Red Tower right now is if he, if he short charges. But it's a really super ass tight short charge through doors. This is, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm going to call this out. This is, this is not, this is not a good play. <laughs> if he gets it, cool, but like. He does get it. That's that's how tight that is. Yeah, we're we're actually straight memeing. And he bonks! <laughs> oh, you know, part of me is very happy to see that bonk, and part of me just feels the pain. It's where Andy just does his, you know, you guys all know the Andy reaction. He's like, fuck! You know, you know the one. That bug was so good, though. I was like, he's not lined up properly, is he? Oh, he had the echoes there. He didn't hit down in time. Didn't hit down in time there. He's getting the taps. He's just, it's really tight, guys. There we go. It's almost like he got it on the second ledge, but like he was just on that corner. He almost bonked again, dude. All uh, right, he's he's up and over. The only prize here, guys, is like alpha beam. So I'm like, I'm really questioning this play. Uh, Nate is gonna steal the key in desert. I don't want to lose focus on what Nate's doing either. He is gonna go ahead, and he is gonna get speed. So he's gonna be very happy with this play. You might be a little pissed off seeing the other castle tower key, considering where he found this one. But 
you know, it's whatever. Uh, Andy also having a little bit of issues here with Red Tower. Um, you know, again, skill issue. You figure the 19,000 hours of SM Arcade our boy's been putting into, uh, into fruition lately would pay off, but uh, apparently not. Nate is, I think he's going to set for a Death Warp here too. Would this be in logic if they had a lamp? Yes. Uh, no, actually, no, it would not be. It would not be in logic. That short charge is not logic. Red Tower. So yeah, Nate is going to set for a similar death warp here and is going to uh, raid the right side desert. Uh, we see just the Turtle Rock map, by the way, on Andy's side. So the... I want to call it like three minutes Andy just spent doing this. Uh, not worth. Now let's like put ourselves in these guys' shoes right now, right? They've been playing for 38 minutes. They don't have jack shit. <laughs> like in terms of in terms of the game, they don't really have much. Um, they certainly don't have morph. They've pretty much roped off all <laughs> easiest morph ball of Andy's life. All right, at the moat. Uh, a really cool, that's like a, a SMZ3 key specific more spot, by the way. Like, you can't have that there normally. But because the door is open and requires a key and not power bombs, that's why Morph can place there. So, with the, uh, with the Criteria 2 key card, you can actually get there. Nate is going to go ahead and check the southern portion of Retrobrim first. And he's just going to go back through Red Tower now. Nate did not keep speed booster. Interesting. Interesting. I'm actually really surprised he wouldn't keep that. I think that's very... It, there's two schools of thought here. It's very... I guess you could call it safe to do that. But for me, from my lens, I think that's very risky. So my thought process is... Speed opens up some very annoying locations in Super Metroid, right? And the the obvious two are shaft supers and waterways. So with an early criteria two, or sorry, an early brin two, I know I have pink brin pretty much all opened up. Leaving speed on the table where it is really opens me up to if my opponent did the same play I did and had that speed and something's there, it's like that's pretty close to like a game at that point. Like you're you're probably just not gonna you're not gonna win at that point, right? So I don't know. It's, again, we'll see how it plays out. It might work in Nate's favor. Just for me, I think it's a little risky. Meanwhile, Nate is gonna go into Eastern here, chasing this big key. No, he's not. He's going north. Where's Nate going? Is he going to Zora? He might be dashing up to Zora here. At first, I was like, he's going to Eastern with the big key, but then I'm like, no, he's going Zora. Okay, because Zora is in logic. I think he just asked the witch for directions there, honestly. And he's going to go over. Okay. So this is my, this is my, oh God, free Varia for Andy here at charge. So this is my add-on to that. So keep in mind that it's one Crystal Ganon. You don't know what GT's goal is yet. So again, you might need Desert, but it doesn't mean that you're going to need Desert. So I don't know, we don't know what the SM goals are. We don't know what the Ganon's tower requirement is. We don't know how many, um, you know, we don't know what Desert is. Desert might be a pendant. So we don't have that information. So I can understand why Nate would want to not pull the trigger on that. It's just a choice. Oh, oh, that's a that's a nice little thanks Solsky right there. That's a charge meme on Zora. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, I would rate that a hot nine out of 10. If this is a quick C, that can really fall in Nate's favor, honestly. Because right now, Andy's like rocking 7015. I imagine Nate's probably similar ammo. I'm not saying this seed's going to be quick, guys, but, you know, seeing a one crystal again is a pretty good start. What is Andy doing? What is Andy doing? 
Is Andy looking up resources to see if he can do this? <laughs> Finals, by the way. <laughs> I think that's what he was doing. I think he was just double checking to see if, uh, if he has the key for this. I don't know. Or maybe Juno, like, sneak attacked him. I don't know. But I'm going to go with the former. It's just funnier. Uh, purple chest is, like, the last check-in logic we haven't seen I can think of. And we have the lamp here for Andy at uh, early... Sp or the, uh, the sports spawn super. So I feel like what would be in really annoying right now is if Nate happened to find something really good here that keeps him in Link to the Past. I feel like right now you definitely want to be in Super Metroid with that morph being where it is. He finds a sword. It's a really nice find. This is really good for him. But I think it's like the perfect good for him. It's not like it's not going to keep him there too much longer. I do wonder if he might... Did Andy just try to... <laughs> He's got SM Arcade on the brain. He just went to... He tried to go for that morph. I guarantee it, dude. <laughs> He's going for the points. Oh, my God. He definitely went for that secret, dude. I'm wondering where Nate's going now. I'm wondering where you're going. Let's... let's hmm... So part of me thinks that Nate might have actually forgotten that he has that Criteria key card. I just want to confirm that he does have that key card. He does. So I think he might forget that he has that access at this point. Skullwood's big chest? He doesn't have the big key, does he? No, he does not. Every time I think he has the Skullwood's big key, he does not have Oh, he hasn't done back yet, or mid. Uh, I agree, it's an incredibly obscure place for Morph to be. I've had Pearls be there in this kind of mode with uh, without Morph, so I totally get it. Oh, uh, we got a Norfair 2 key card. Okay, so the good news is that's not logical. So Nate can't do anything with that in logic. So he should be able to suss that out. At this point, I, I don't know what else he would have. So he might break mountain axis here. Thinking he might have missed something. All right, Andy's gonna get Bombos here in... Oh, it's not smooth. It's very not smooth. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering if this is a play to kind of keep yourself moving until you kind of think about where my progression could be. Uh, Morph was at the moat. So that's the the doorway between basically Criteria and Wreckship. Normally would be Morph locked, but uh, because of you know, this being keys, you actually have access to it with the, the key card that the both runners have. Uh, again, it's our small key. We have an E-Tank here, and he's like, nah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Pass. Also, chat, um, I think I missed it earlier. Andy probably did Waterway. I don't think Waterway had anything, right? I'm pretty sure it had nothing. Chat, confirm. It had three bombs, confirmed. All right, so that's not a nightmare. Nate really has to. <laughs> we don't have to play that through his head for him. Uh, he might he might think about it, but like, you know, he doesn't have to worry about it. All right, red mail on spec rock. I think we saw that earlier. Just that shield there. Yeah. So like, not even spike caves, even remotely in logic either, with just the one bottle. So Nate is going to go to SM here. He knows you can check this. He knows it's not in logic with what he currently has. 
any meanwhile gonna give us a scout here of the gauntlet we do see a boss key card that's a really nice scout there for andy and nate not having that speed is gonna option it away and leave i wonder if nate's gonna go back to desert now and get that speed if he doesn't think about mo let's see what this next play call is he stays in link to the past he's staying in does he go to the portal or does he go south if he goes south he's going back for speed he's gonna go to the portal okay Wait, has he gone to Eastern yet? Oh no, he's going back to Eastern, guys. No. Oh, that's that's rough. And he's gonna get Harris small key here at 230. Yeah, I, I I get it, right? Like if he's again, you're just kind of playing to what you're thinking of, and Link to the Past is on the brain right now. Do 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 All right, what do we have here? Mother Brain, just another map. Yeah, you're going to grab that. Still kind of low on intel. It's a pretty easy free item to get. All right, so yeah, we'll have the big chest and the Eastern Big Key chest for Nate's. Eastern Big Key chest will be out of logic. He'll get Quake out of that. I keep saying this for him, but I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all he has left. There's Andy's cape, so now, you know, you can option to go for... You can go for silvers, I guess, but I don't think... I don't think either runner are really going to go for that. It's pretty isolated. Maybe if you're going for graveyard with mirror, but yeah. Just heart piece for Andy here at Alpha Missiles. Yeah, not pitless either. The arcade is it's kind of shaking our man up. You know what I mean? He's not even getting the spark across the pits. I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think he needs an any percent runner five in him. You know what I mean? I think he needs the. I think he needs that. Too much arcade. You know. It's like too much junk food. Yellow fat. Like too much arcade. Yellow fat. You gotta. You gotta. You know, get some running in. You gotta get your laps in. And those laps are any percent. All right. There's uh, Nate's quake. All right. What is Nate's next play? He's thinking about. It. So this is the point where he's not sure. He's going to stay in Link to the Past. I think he's going to go Desert. He's going to go to Desert here. So he's going to go and burn that key and get that speed. All right. This could be really bad. Swamp Palace Small Key here for Andy and Shaft Supers. This is now incredibly good for Nate getting that speed. But for all the wrong reasons, right? Like, where does my head go with Nate getting speed in this position? I feel like he's going to hell run Norbear. I feel like that's going to be rough in this spot. Yeah, Nate is opening up Desert again. Does have that key, so we'll be burning down the right side, getting speed. Doesn't really need to get that Castle Tower key, so once it gets speed, he can just kind of leave. Meanwhile, Andy is going to head back to ship for refill. Nice little save here. Uh, he could go and check some of the wreck ship items. He's already done red tower here, so he's got like a couple options. Um, might want to just go back through the warp and maybe chase back to Norpair with what he has. He can't do gauntlet. Later. He does not have a key for it yet. All right, where's Nate going? All right, Nate had speed on ship. Where are you going next, Nate? If you're going left, he's going left. Okay, so I was going to say, if he's going left, it means he's he's kind of forgotten about that key. This is a problem for Nate. This is a big problem for Nate, actually. I'm trying to think if there's anything more flock that was really important. So, like, one thing you could do is just, like, oh, yeah, Varia. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of important. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, if there's nothing more flocked, Nate can just kind of like skip it. 
as kind of an oh no I made a mistake kind of moment right and just not come back but yeah morph was that or very was that uh charge which is morph locked so he's gonna have to come back well he should come back right but it could put him in a really bad position and he's gonna go for spike cape here on just cape five hearts it's really tight but he can do it does get it here. Gets a small key for his efforts to pod. That's a really nice uh, pickup, honestly. And we're just going to see the heart piece here. He's going to leave behind a GT small on that right side and an E-Tank. These are things that Nate really doesn't need. But, uh, again, it's just calling out what he's going to be missing here. And just those bombs... No, I think Lamp was at, uh, Lamp should be, I want to say it was the Atticoons area, I think. Lamp was Sports Bomb? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, it was Sports Bomb. Okay, so nothing here, Nate's just going to reset, and he's going to say, what? Look at his camera right here. He's like, he's thinking. He's looking at his screen. He's thinking right now. Okay, guys, I just want to call out. I didn't really notice this before. But Nate has like a dumpster underneath him, underneath his webcam. <laughs> I don't know why. Um... <laughs> Jesus. I like his sense of humor. I'm just going to say that. I like his sense of humor. Is it for the seed? I don't... Well, I mean, it's underneath his webcam. So, like, it's cropped in. So, he's, like, in the dumpster, basically. Okay, Nate, where are you going next? There's not... There's really not much else you can do. What are you thinking? He's thinking Norfair, aren't you? You're gonna go to Norfair. No, don't go to Norfair, Nate. That's a bad idea. You don't want to... You know, as your as your Boston employer, you don't want to do this. This is my recommendation to you. He's he's gonna do it anyways, guys. He's gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna go get a beer. I'll be right back. Alright, I need this beer for this. Uh, yeah, it was pretty free. It was pretty free. So, the good news is Nate will not be able to do anything here. So, he'll see that big key, but he won't be able to do anything. I think he could do croc. He should have the key for that. But after that, he's out. Track speed for Nate? Okay. Complete. For Nate, I hope there's no progression. <sighs> there's a chance you might find something here, but I think it just kind of strings him along back to length of fast if there is. Like with what he has right now, there's not really much left he can do. So we're going to see side by side croc slaughters. Uh, hope you don't like the little guy because he's going to die times two on your screen in HD. Um. We see a mushroom here on Andy's side. Like, yeah, you can go back for that and chase it if you're Nate. You probably will. But I don't think it's going to be the answer. This is another annoying part about doing this without Morph is that Nate's not going to have cosine, right? So everything that Nate does that Andy has already done without Morph is going to kind of handicap him immensely at this point. In layman's terms, it's really bad. It's not good. And he's gonna go in for a save here. It's just a save scum save. Nate's also gonna have to do the short tap, uh, the three tap stutter, short charge. Um, well, he doesn't have to. 
But it's recommended just to get through speed a little bit faster. All right, so he's going to get that mushroom there. He's going to go right ahead and check out Cosine. Cosine's just power bomb, so that's good for Nate. Yeah, I wonder if Nate just thinks this is the world's biggest troll seed. It was kind of free all along. <laughs> These things happen, guys. These things happen in this. All right, we are going to see the hook shot down here. So this is really bad for Nate. This is going to open up a lot of stuff for him to do in Link to the Past. Um, some of which might be helpful, none of which are going to be the answer that he needs. You can short charge that and it's in logic. It's in logic to short charge that in this. Hard mode has that in logic. So that's why I'm saying that is technically progressive, but we know through hindsight and through like the bird's eye view, it's not in logic because Nate's, oh, he gets a first try too. He's gonna see this. Let's see his reaction. He's puzzled. He's kind of thinking to himself, man, is this the answer? Hold on, let's, is he mic'd up? He is mic'd up. Nate, say something to me, buddy. He doesn't wanna. He's shy. It's too bad, I just missed him saying something. Unforch. Yeah, now Nate's gonna have Hookshot. He's basically just gonna leave here. If Hookshot Mushroom from this, you're feeling kind of good, but you still got that kind of weird feeling like, did I miss something? Um, Two exit points here. Yeah, you're going to go the safer way. You're going to go back through speed hallway there. Oh, man. Like, it's just such a rough happening right now, right? It's kind of rough. And then you can go directly back to Link to the Past with that hookshot. Hookshot means GT access as well. You know it. You know it. That's why Andy is more or less going straight there. Andy has done most of a Super Metroid anyways with more. Uh, he has not done Norfair. Um, thanks, Automod. I'm going to deny. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, it, I was going to ban them. Now I can't ban them. That's unfortunate. I'll ban them later. Uh, all right, so we got bomb space jump here for Andy. All right. Nate is going up the front portion of Norfair. Okay. He's saying this is not enough. He wants more. He wants more, guys. Nate's over here, he's like, hey man, I haven't heard no bell. <laughs> he's just going in. He's going in, guys. Like, in, in term again, in terms of, like, game logic, it's in logic for his gear. It's just not in logic for his access here right now. Can't wait for this to be 7 Crystal GT. If this is 7 Crystal GT, I'm sending my wife on a snack run, guys. I'm sending it to the store. I need some more beer in the fridge too. Oh, that's the Ice Palace Big Key here. Okay. This is essentially a snack run at that point. And he still does not have a sword. Pocket change at Ether. Nothing there. So Nate, I don't think can do that with speed on from that doorway. So he's gonna have to, yeah, he's gonna have to turn that off. You can use speed, but you have to go inside the save. They had real belts as well. Yeah, they start with real boots. They start with real boots and a random item. Today's random item was uh, Pearl. Actually, I don't even think I put that there, did I? I have that on there. No, I don't even have that there. What a terrible cast, guys. Uh, starting item. I think I forgot to do it. Ooh, Pearl. 
Let's just have his one word. Uh, export age. Starting out. There you go, Moon Pearl. <laughs> and he's just gonna go downstairs. It's like, nah, I'm good, thanks. He's going back up. Oh, is he fixing Insula? Is that why he's doing that? I didn't think you can do that with the stair. Well, I guess it fixed him. All right, good to know. Good to know. Again, guys, I'm stuck in 2017. All right. God, that bounce makes me giggle every time. All right, plasma here from Andy. You see a map I'm ready on Nate's side. Ten arrows to follow up on the main lobby of Hera. Well, I guess we can call that the upstairs lobby, actually. So all Nate has left in Logic is the item at Wavegate itself, not Wave itself. Because he doesn't have Grapple. We know Andy just got grappled, so that's, again, another thing that logically prevents you from doing that. I don't even think Nate can get back up without uh, without grapple at that point. Or morph. Uh, small key to Skull Woods. Useless. We see Hera. Pog. Andy, first crystal of the game. One hour, four minutes in. Yeah, Nate is going to check charge. Almost fell there on the little platforms. Do you see the big key to Skull Woods here? The breadcrumbs continue to flow. Oh, no, man. Like, these are these are so bad for Nate. Like, oh, my God. It's painful. It's painful to watch. Like, now you're going Mushroom. Now you're going Skull Woods Big Chest. Now you're going Eastern and East Death Mountain and Darkwell Death Mountain, right? Like... Yeah, you're going to be able to clear Hera and stuff, but like, oh, man. Nice D-boost there from Nate, though, using the waiver to get across. We do see a small key, so at least he's getting some value out of this play. Sees a small key to ice. Uh, we don't know. We won't know what's at wave and at the back and North Air Reserve now. So we have those two missing. Ganon beatable. We need another sword. We need another sword for that. Nate also doesn't have a fire source for that. We see P and D on the screen. No comment. Uh, P was thieves, I think. And D was TR. I'm pretty sure. He's going to continue the farm here. I have a discord ping. I don't need to read it. Uh, what does Andy have marked here? Yeah, it's Thieves and TR. Yeah, I am right there. Okay. Get P and D chat. Yeah, basically. P and D. So that's two of the four SM tokens we know now where they're at. These are pretty light one. You just need that big key. Uh, TR is kind of a nightmare. You need a lot more for that. So what is TR's medallion? It is Bombos. Andy does have that. Nate is making his way back through the reverse here. So the good thing with Nate is he has like 70 tanks plus a reserve. Uh, it is going to make be able to get through this pretty handily. There's a map from Rex Ship. That's a really good find, actually. That's good intel. They're taking a little bit of a roughing here from those uh, those angled waivers. Uh, nothing here in Hookshot Cave, basically. You're missing the spark, but that's okay. Just backups. Nice. All right, guys, what is GT? Yes, dude! <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Cheryl! Snack run! I need snacks! She's actually moving down here, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't have been so loud. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Seven crystals required, guys. Uh, buckle up. Get your favorite snackerinos and uh, maybe alcohol. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Uh, hold on.
My wife was dazed and confused going coming down here, guys. It's fine. Dazed and confused, guys. Uh, random settings. Why do I have it so question mark? Alright, one, seven. <laughs> so stupid. God, this tournament sucks, doesn't it, guys? This tournament sucks. Who who made this? <laughs> God, who made this, dude? Who thought this was a good idea? Ma, the meatloaf, ma! <laughs> ma! Ma, I need more pizza pops, ma! Is my son asleep? Uh, it's like 7.23, I think he's just about to go to bed. Right, so we see pod entry here from Andy. We haven't seen it yet. Uh, well, we have seen it here from Nate. We have not seen it yet from Andy. Hmm. Who generated the seed? Uh, let's go through the documentation, shall we? Uh, Andy. <laughs> Andy rolled this garbage. What a fitting end to the Grimace Memorial, guys. What a fitting end. Nice bonk. Nice bop. So Andy will have only one. He's gonna have two small keys. Oh, here comes the cheating, guys. Here it comes. Oh, look at me. I can move my hands real fast on my, my controller. You know, look how cool I am. Good. Gets nothing for it. Cheaters never prosper, guys. You know. Get death warp here instead. I don't know why. Oh, he's setting up the death warp for after. That's why. All right. I follow along. And he still does not have a sword, by the way. I do want to call that out. The first sword found was that purple chest. Pretty isolated play for a sword. I will call out. This is the funny part. Is with that cape. You actually have those two castle tower items as well. I've not seen any kind of direction from Andy to kind of go there yet. But, uh, yeah. Maybe soon. Maybe later. Who knows? None of your business, you know. Ice beam here for Andy. Okay. Got that for Pod. Nate getting his plasma. Heart container here, and uh, level one key card for Criteria. So now Andy can get that boss key card uh, at the back of Gauntlet. No play here to the Harmless Hellway. Has to go now to the Pod Maze. Will not be able to do the big chest, so we're gonna be exclusive to those two items. Meanwhile, Nate is setting up for his uh, Moldorm fight here. This is a pretty bad Moldorm. He's staying in that left corner forever there. Got two hammers in, just needs that one more. There we go, nice and easy. And uh, now Nate will have his first crystal. Perfect. See an ice rod here for Andy, just that easy, I guess. Just that easy, you know. Six pods keys required for that, no big deal. Shovel as well, okay. I gave it to Nate for some reason. Now I gave him fire rod, now he has neither. Shuffle a nice rock for Andy. All right. Uh, Nate is going to go back in now to Dark World Death Mountain. Is going to loop that in. And then he's going to get the bad news. <laughs> you know, it might be good news for him with how this is played. Like, the longer this seat goes, the, you know, the better Nate's chances to get back in this. If it was a 1-1 one, one seed, I, I would feel very worried for Nate right now. But I feel like there's enough time that, you know, all is not lost just yet. Uh, there's Andy getting the second castle tower key. I believe Nate got that as well. Nate does not have plasma. He did not have hair bitky. Did Andy have bitten hair? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I mark that? I forgot to mark that for Andy. Okay. I thought he did get it by proxy though. That's why, because I didn't see a bit key on Andy's side. All right, all right. My mistake, chat. Andy is now going to Castle Tower. And if you're doing this because you're listening to me casting right now, you suck, alright? 
Andy's not listening to this right now, guys. I'm just joking, right? Just having a laugh. Now, if he, like, unmuted and said Solsky sucks, I'd be very suspicious. All right, there's a fire rod there for Andy as well. Jesus. All right, so fire and ice rod. Skullwoods back now open. Skullwoods is a crystal. So that'd be a pretty prime target to kind of hit up. Does not have a sword yet, though. Cannot go to Skull. Just gets a flute for free, though. Like, it's no big, it's no big thing, you know? Was there anything on Lumberjacks? No, nothing was on Lumberjacks. Nothing was on Lumberjacks. So we'll see the flute cash in for here. This is like an easy in for Meyer. Um, Andy does not have the keys yet for LN everything. He could do LN proper, but won't be able to go to Ridley. I think he's going to want to try and like cash in flute, cash in shovel. He probably goes to my area next. I don't really see him having better options without that sword. It's is it an easy purple chest cash in though? Because he has to go to Dark World Warp and then he has to go all the way over, has to SQ. Um the flute saves him like a couple seconds. Yeah, it's not as easy as that. It's never easy. There's Nick in the bad news. <laughs> It's never easy unless you do Smith's Purple Chest with Mirror, like, right by each other. Alright, Nate is going back into SM now. Where are you heading off to? Hold on. Nate's thinking right now. I'm looking at his cam. He's thinking about where I could go. You realized a while ago? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna loop over. To find it, Mark. Oh. I have Nate's audio looped in here. So we'll have a little bit of audio bleed, but I think it's gonna be worth a chat. Let's turn off Andy's audio for just a second. I did not find more progression. Hold on. Open. Hold on. Oh my god. There it is, chat. Yup. <laughs> That's really bad. It's really bad. Andy going ahead for GT here. You know, Nate is right, it is really bad, but I don't think it's crippling just yet. Like, Andy is ahead, I don't think it's insurmountable. Andy just throwing his missiles away. Like it's nothing to him. Let's go ahead, I don't need them. You know, take all my missiles. I can get more. He is throwing away those missiles though. Uh, if you're under 17, I believe the count is. Uh, it's either 17 or 19. Um, GT will continually spam that attack, which will allow Andy to kind of just like infinitely farm supers here. He's gonna wanna throw away more missiles. I don't think he wants to go above. Okay, it's gonna keep going. Maybe it's 29. Yeah, he definitely needs to throw some away now. He's about to shoot again. Alright, GT's dead. E tank. Alright, so now at 116, Nate can finally play the game. <laughs> it feels real good, man. Um, Andy, meanwhile, I think, yeah, he's just going to go up to LN here. Again, without the sword, if Andy had the sword, he would go to Skullwoods. But without that sword, he can't really progress. He can do with the one chest, but you don't really want to burn that time on one chest unless you're already doing skulls. So he's just going to want to play this instead. Uh, he is farming up for supers. It's making me think he might have forgotten that he doesn't have that big key to LN. Unless I mistracked that, let me confirm. He does not have that big key confirmed, so uh, maybe he just wants a couple extra supers. Who knows? He also doesn't have charge yet either, so it's a little unfortunate. But you know that that is the way the wind blows here. Uh, we are gonna see a nice little spark, a nice little spark. I think that was a 
map of TR. So again, the one thing I don't like about this mode and the way this was kind of crafted in hindsight, again, it goes back to that conversation of I didn't know what fast mode or uh, fast cannon would open up terrain as well, is that we need the we need the criteria boss key to see what Mother Brain's goal is, like for G4 entry. So without that key, the runners are going to be in the dark. <laughs> so basically, the second they get that key, they're probably just going to be going in. Which is rather unfortunate, but if it's a late big key anyways, I don't think they're going to really worry too much. But we're going to see extra here having the Palace of Darkness big key. Okay, so this is good for Nate. I don't think, uh, yeah, Andy is definitely not done X-Ray. He's most certainly done not done X-Ray. So this is really good for Nate, actually. This is really good for him. So here we're going to want to see him go back to Bryn just because we know Norfair or uh, Varia is there. But we'll see. We'll see what he decides to do. He's going to go down. Okay. Keep in mind, guys, once Annie's done Norfair here on LN, he's going to go back up to Norfair... Uh, proper and he's gonna go check out bubble mountain so a lot of that stuff that nate did that wasn't really a lot found but also will have access to those morph locations nate didn't have before so there's good opportunity there let's look for andy to reset here if the item's bad he he doesn't even grab it he's a seal later we move forward and he's going to go now up to the remainder of ln nate is going to go head towards Craig's warehouse i wonder if he's going to go in for a pit stop there is one item that's available uh he is not he's going to go down the elevator okay probably heading towards high jump maybe he wants to go back to norfair he doesn't have really much left he could do right except for those wharf locations so and he's gonna get supers here at Fire Fleas. Yeah, Nate's just gonna clean up here at High Jump. We'll be able to get that big key. And he got, I think that's Hera's big key, actually. So that's really unfortunate that Nate's gonna find that big key late. Like, you've already done Hera. And you kind of left, you're you more or less orphan plasma there, right? So he's gonna kind of roll his eyes at that one. I gave, uh,. Gave Nate the wrong crystal here. Let's just mark that off. Right, nothing really going on in LN. One more check here. Okay, so literally nothing in LN. Uh, Andy should be able to face tank these. Got to be a little careful. I'm probably going to take another hit. Yup. Skill issue. It's okay. 73 plus the reserve. He's fine. Yes, Andy did skimp here air basement. That is a good call out. So if Andy does... Or if Nate does find that small key and does the basement, then that could be another in. It just really depends on how Nate plays the next 40 minutes, I think. We'll determine how he's going to, if he's going to catch up. I shouldn't say how, it more should be if, because Andy is in the lead. Just because Andy's been able to do all these morph checks, Nate's going to have to go back for some of them, right? So, Nate is going back to print now, so he is doing cleanup. He is doing the right cleanup here, getting Varia, basically. Um, there's not really much left for Nate to do in hindsight, right? And he's kind of catching up doing this Norfair, these Norfair checks now. Uh, and he's going to go this way, question mark. Kind of wondering why. 
What is Andy doing? Why is Andy doing this? Does Andy... Hold on. He doesn't have the key. I thought he did. Oh! <laughs> oh, well, that sucks. Where was Upper Norfair 2? Where was that key? I was like... I was so dead set that he had that by now. Oh, it was Mid Skull Woods. Oh, that's so bad, man. Okay, so you know what? These are the kind of things that are going to get Nate back in this game, right? Is Andy having to do this and not being able to do uh, Norfair and kind of just burn some minutes here going through uh, this pathway. So that's pretty big. Uh, Bo skipped it for some reason. I can see it like skipping early. I think Nate just went back to it because he didn't really think he had much left. Nate being thorough and Andy not. Well, I mean, he had to be thorough because it was forced, right? So we don't know, like, we saw Ice Big Key was behind Norfair 2, but we don't know what the morph locations are. So Nate didn't show us what Wave was, and we couldn't see what Norfair Reserve were yet. All right, just getting Bombos, and he's going to go to a straight reset. Nate is going to pick up his Bombos here, which might be big for TR. We'll have to wait and see. Andy tried, but the frog didn't let him correct. That is correct, yeah. Stupid frog. Who likes frogs anyways, guys? All right. Show of hands. Who likes frogs here? Anyone? Chat? Anyone? No one? Okay. The f I'm not repeating that. <laughs> I'm not repeating that. Guys, let's get to monetize Andy's videos, all right? Like, I'm not going to do that to him. Uh, all right, so Nate just getting through Mission Impossible. He's going to get his Varia very shortly. Oh, Andy's getting grabbed. Nasty stuff. Just got a frog tattoo? Hell yeah. Look at this little meatball just kind of doing the short charge there. What a show off. Yeah, I'm, intri I'm intrigued to see what boss key this is. I think it's going to be... <laughs> I would laugh if it's Ridley, honestly. But I think it's going to be Wreck Ship. We'll have to wait and see. I think it's going to be Wreck Ship here. Uh, Nate, meanwhile, continuing his cleanup here of Rin. Now has that area. That's huge. What's the boss key? Is Brinstar. Okay, that's free. It's also not really good. I mean, that, uh, that boss key is pretty bad. Um, green Pendant might be required, but you don't want to see it when you see a 7 crystal GT. <laughs> And you're an hour 26 in with one crystal. This seed's pretty slow, guys. It's pretty slow. Honestly, I would advocate an intermission for these guys, but uh, I think they're just gonna kinda power through it here. All right, just got the lamp. No plot armor to report for Andy yet. Yet. There might still be some time. And Andy is going back in here to uh, towards Norfair. This is probably going right to Crate's warehouse. He probably thinks he, you know, at this point, he probably has very limited options. Um, You know, he has Skull Mid, he has Zora, he has Hair Basement, and then he has this. So he's probably just gonna, like, I'm going to go for the most odds here. Let's just take care of this now. Grab her flippers on GT. That'd be pretty big. On GP, that'd be pretty big, actually. I don't think it's going to be that good, but we'll see. So with that lamp, Nate can now do Skull Woods as well with that sword. Um, I don't think he's thinking that just yet, though. 
but he does have that option available. Uh, he is going to go back down through here. To the wiggle tube. I think he goes to retro at this point. Yeah, because he hasn't done some of these other checks. I don't... I think Andy did check. Yeah, he can't go to like... No, he can check. He can check uh, alpha. Yeah, we did see that from Andy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did see everything from Andy here. So we know there's only like the cape coming up right now. Now we have Andy's crate. Does Andy get stand up? Uh, no. He does get stand up. All right. I'm so nice. No. No question mark. All right. Gets can fly in morph bombs, but already has can fly with speed and space. So see you later. Also to point out, Andy has not turned on Spazer or Plasma yet. I'm a little upset. A little upset. Okay, where is Nate going to go next here? <laughs> nothing else in Craze Warehouse. The E-Tank is nothing. You, so Nate will get that Swamp Palace small key if he does Shaft Supers here. Which I imagine he will do. Nice little debuts there from Nate. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, probably is, but he hasn't done Spazer yet either. So we'll see what Spazer is. I think Nate did this already. I don't think it was anything of note. Yeah, it's just Red Ruby. Um, I don't think Pop Big is going to be a big deal for now. I like you need six keys for that to be in logic for an item anyways so it's like it's definitely something you want like we we know we need seven crystals there's a very good chance it is a crystal we don't have that information yet but you'd be happy to find it All right Nate now getting that hair small and yeah Andy is gonna position here to do x-ray all right Meanwhile, let's see what Nate's next play is here. He doesn't have much left to clean up in terms of morph. The Norfair item locations are the big ones. So he's going to do his refill now. Andy will be getting his pop big key here. So guys, in terms of like how this has gone down, it's still pretty close. Like there's still a crystal apiece. Andy's done a little bit more than Nate. Um, you know, Andy's got that LN on him, but Nate's done some stuff that Andy has not done that he probably wants. Like, you know, Nate's done Zora has charge. Uh, he's gotten the sword from Purple Chest. So he's gotten some pretty good wins out of doing some stuff that Andy hasn't done. Uh, that being said, Andy's pretty... Like he's been pretty thorough with his route and he's starting to run out of places to go at this point logically so there's not much left out there for him he's gonna find some more progression soon if not he's gonna be able to you know go towards that progression very soon by proxy of just not having that much left to do we see the mushroom caching i don't think either player's done this yet which is actually surprising considering andy has blue Okay, just a map. All right, so we see Eastern is a crystal. Get information gained there by name. Andy is now going to go ahead and check um moat and spooky
Why no muscle puck for Andy? Um. So the International Rando Council has determined that um, the pug sprite was on roids, on steroids. And uh, unfortunately, we cannot, in good conscience, use them anymore in this tournament. Palace of Darkness small key from Andy. In the uh, mode area, right? Uh, real answer, he just, like, went to a new PC build recently. He doesn't have the files, so... I have to, uh, I have to resend him those files for him. He just let me know, like, two minutes before the match, so... He wasn't getting them, guys. He wasn't getting them. Uh, alright, so we see Desert Palace Big Key here. Okay. I think Andy got the small key for Desert somewhere as well. He did. Okay. I wasn't crazy. I think when Nate was getting his morph ball, he found the Desert Small somewhere. I just don't remember where. Uh, so honestly, not bad finds. He sees the big, the boss key card for Lauren Orpher down here. This is kind of, this is kind of cringe. This is kind of cringe, guys. This is not good. It could have been a, it could have been a way Nate could have caught up a little bit by just doing those couple extra checks, but yeah. We're gonna see the back of wave now, though. Andy just taking the sinker out with uh, a lot of walking in the water. Uh, Nate just getting an E-Tank, so nothing really to report from Norfair, unless I missed something. I don't think I did. Oh, he has Desert Big. My apologies. I put it on the wrong one. <laughs> Can someone tell me how closer or apart these gamers are? Um. Okay, Emmett, I'll talk to you in a language you can understand. Um, they are about a oats and goats high score in SM Arcade and a Krokemeyer um, high score in SM Arcade. That's how close they are. It's pretty close. Um, Nate had a little bit of issues early on getting morph, but he's found it now. He's doing a lot of his cleanup and he's kind of catching up to Nate's cleanup that he's done. So, not really anything too crazy. And he's going to cash in Green Pendant here in the stream. If I were a betting man, I would say Andy's ahead. Andy's going to get her first sword here. Plot armor, question mark. It's not actually plot armor, but he is going to get his first sword. He's swinging it like crazy. He's like, finally, dude. He's going to do fake flipper here. Are we going to Ice Palace, question mark? Andy did, however, almost try to do the Big Pink Arcade secret. You are correct. He did try. He was going for it, and then he realized... <laughs> whoops. Our boy has Arcade on the brain. Oh, wasn't this where Norfair's keycard was? Or was it something else? I know there was a keycard here. That was for Wreck Ship. Okay. That was the right ship one. All right, Nate's just doing some cleanup here now. Again, the double dipping is what's really hurting Nate right now. Like, in terms of what they kind of need to do to get towards their goal, Andy's closer to that. But he's still missing some key pieces of the puzzle that Nate possesses. And, you know, Andy had to burn a little bit of time due to inefficiencies, but, like, Nate having to double dip all this stuff is, is costing him right now, right? Uh, what was that ice rod? It was, like, supers. Supers. All right, Andy's gonna get, uh, nothing here in the waterfall. He has enough money for Zora. We'll find charge at Zora. Which is nice.
can't remember was that Zoral Edge either. It's like missiles or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when Andy scouts it. Missiles, okay. Nate did tell Andy to throw for him after he sub tier three. That sounds illegal. Are you now getting his charge move? All right. So one of the big advantages uh, Nate's actually had on Andy was that sword from Purple Chess. But now with Andy finding one at uh, at Green Pen and Cash In, he's got to be pretty happy about that fun. He's probably thinking this is ridiculous that that sword's there. But he didn't need to go that hard. Uh, but yeah, now he's just going to go to Skull. Pretty natural pivot play here with what he has. Uh, I've also had boots not checked off for these guys for the past hour and 38 minutes. Shameful display. Uh, Nate is now going to go ahead and go through to Bryn. Boss. All right. Andy's posting copy pasta from his chat. Pay attention to your gameplay. All right, chat, that's why I just yelled at Andy. <laughs> Telling him that is a good pasta, though. God. It was a first time chatter. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Can you imagine that's your first time chat in the channel? Just drop a cheese copy pasta. All right, there's the Norfair 2 key card. I'm sure Andy's just rolling his eyes. Nate, meanwhile, is going to make the play here to Castle Tower. This is good for him. He is going to get Fire Rod out of this place. So that's a really good find. Uh, he's going to go to back into the, uh, the Dark Cross first. But I imagine he goes there next. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we're going to see the chest here first from Andy. He's on two and a half hearts, so we'll just be able to do a quick death warp. God, this is a slow seed for finals. Oh, my God. It's so slow. Uh, Smoky Ice Palace. Okay. It's so slow. The good news is, though, like in terms of items, they're pretty close to go mode. Um, they just need keys at that point, right? They just need keys. Or I could go for Maw for two hearts. I mean, why, though? <laughs> you have a really good Death Warp opportunity? I would just take the Death Warp opportunity, honestly. Just take it. Take the Death Warp. You know. You don't have to die. It's a win-win. Hammer, hammer. These are really nice hammer strikes by Andy. That was a really nice fight by Andy. That was a really nice fight by Andy. I might make money on the internet by making fun of Andy Lasso, but uh, you know what? I knew, I know a good maw fight when I see it. I'll call it out. That's pretty decent. All right, Nate finding his flute here as well. Good stuff. Is it the shovel yet? No, he hasn't gone to Meyer yet, right? Is that why? Yeah, I think Meyer had the shovel. Right, so should be fire rod as well, for Nate. Fire on flute. I know. I've I've tracked them. They are tracked. Andy now gonna go and head to uh, Norfair here. We'll find that desert big key. So I think at this point, the next play would be desert, just for the back of the big chest. Like, 
It's pretty narrowed in for Andy. There's not much wiggle room for him to kind of go to places. Like, he could break to Ice Palace. He could, uh, he could go to Desert here. Uh, he could go to Ridley, actually. He does have that boss key now. You swear you saw it in Nate digging? I just checked his tracker. He does not have a shovel marked. It would have been, uh, it would have been Andy digging. All right, so Nate's seen the same information Andy had. With the, uh, with the P and the D. And Nate is also going to go to Skullwitz here. All right, so Andy will have a second ice small and the big key. Yeah, it's probably dead game. And this will be Andy's desert big. All right. Oh, the lag. The on-screen lag. It's so bad. There we go. Andy, please equip plasma. Please equip plasma. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah, Nate gonna follow in Andy's footsteps here. Gonna take care of uh, back to school with mom. Uh, why not? Second easy free crystal. And uh, again, Andy's more or less now following in Nate's footsteps, just cleaning up uh, Upper North Fair, but is able gonna do it in one shot, right? So timing wise a little bit faster but you know andy did have to go the long way uh after ln he didn't have the key card for the time so i almost want to call it a wash because it's pretty quick to come back here with morph and do those uh those couple of checks so it's not too time consuming where are we uh where are we going next i think andy's gonna go desert i think that's where he's gonna go where's nate gonna go next it's more important where will Nate go? Nate actually might follow suit here and might go to Desert next, actually. But he doesn't have Desert Small, so he can't. Like, he can do the Big Chest, but he can't do the boss. Which is rather unfortunate. They're having a little bit of a harder time here with Moth. Um, we just have... Moth just being a, a guy. There we go. There we go. Alright, Nate's second crystal. Two, two, guys. Alright, we still need five crystals. We don't know what we need still for Super Metroid to beat the game. Andy setting up Faith Clipper. Is this Ice Palace? I think it is. Okay, this is... Okay, so now we're starting to go off the rails here a little bit. So why I think this is a little risky, we don't know if Ice is a pendant, a boss token, or a crystal yet. So if Andy scores a crystal here, this is huge. If he scores a pendant and nothing, this could be a pretty significant time loss. Odds are, though, he'll find something good here. We'll just have to kind of wait and see what that may be. Nate, meanwhile, is finished off with Skullwoods. Is going to go back and through here. Maybe picking up those silvers this round. Uh, he is going north. So, yeah, he is going to pick up those silvers here. Honestly, being this long on Fighter Sword, I, on it, I don't hate it. I just need that bow pairing. Just need that bow pairing. Yeah, it won't have the red cane, so it's going to be a slower ice palace as well. But it's it's really that you have desert as an unknown versus ice as an unknown, but desert's in logic. I probably would play desert here ahead of that. But that's kind of a just me kind of thing. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Ice or the silver's mark for Nate there. Nate, meanwhile, going back to his house. is going to flute over here. Let's see if this is towards Mire, if it's towards Deserts. He is fluting towards Desert, and he is going to go into Mire area. All right. Standalone Silvers, that is like SMZ3. Like, that is not a tournament thing. That's just how SMZ3 operates. It's always operated like that. Total has gone on record that he's pretty much never going to do it. <laughs> he's never going to make it progressive bow.
So I just don't ask. I'm kind of okay with a split bow, honestly. I know there's been enough seeds where it's burned me, personally. Um, where I've, like, I would have benefited by having progressive bows, but... Honestly, it, it, honestly, to me, I, it really doesn't matter. It's just another item, right? It's just another item. That wasn't a thing to like, V31. Yeah, it was, like, pretty late in terms of the history. That's where the Desert Small was. All right. I was worried it was somewhere really obscure, but it was pretty easy. Red Cane in Ice Palace. How does this man do it? How does this man do it? Rahumer, thanks for the tier one. Appreciate that. Yeah, in the big key. In the big key room of all places. Yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty obnoxious, that Red Cane spot. So, if Ice Palace is a pendant, this now works tremendously in Andy's favor. Um, odds are you're going to need that right cane. We don't know. Well, Myers are crystals. So yes, we do need that right cane. Uh, we don't know what boss token amounts we need yet. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really good find. It's a really good find here. Icebreaker is another small key for Ganon's tower. Okay. Not as useful. You sure this isn't a Plando seed? This is not a Plando seed. Andy generated the seed. <laughs> he rolled it through Synax Bot. I'm not that guy, right guys? I'm not that. Oh, Streamer, play my Wevel. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy, guys. Oh no, Nate the Bonk. Oh, he's gonna reset. Mirror is here too in Ice Palace. Okay, this is waking me up a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> this this uh this play is waking me up guys it's like oh it, it was getting a little it's getting a little snoozy you know such a such a slow seed now we're now we're picking her up so mirror is a great find if uh swamp palace is a crystal i feel like otherwise mirror is just kind of a pain in the ass i gotta do more checks could be good maybe not good probably not good like it's very conditional right all right uh cold stare coming up here from andy nate is just getting through worst room in the game here at super metroid pretty easy standard room for him uh andy's cold stare fighter sword only i think maybe has a blue potion here with the fire rod does not he's gonna set up for fighter sword spins i think that's a bad call he's going to hammer i think that's a better call just takes one hit there, gets a double kill there with that one hit. I think he's two hits away. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, small key. Turtle Rock, that's a really nice find. And it is a pendant. That's pretty, that's pretty garbage, honestly. So if I'm Andy, I'm feeling real good about that play. Um, finding Red Cane and a Pendant Ice. The longer Nate puts that off, and if Nate gets information of Ice Palace, the more unlikely it is that he plays that. As Andy just excitingly plays a Red Cane block there. I don't know if that was in purpose for Insula purposes, or if he's just giddy with excitement. But he's like, adios, muchachos. I don't know if they have Myers Medallion either. Hold on, let's let's see here. Let's gonna go for Desert Boss first. It's Ether. Get owned. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Nate does not have the boss key for really either, right? He does not. So he's going through the same thing Andy did. So unfortunately, he's not gonna enjoy any kind of time save by. Um, being able to do LN in one loop. Yeah, we're going to see the reset here. We're going to see the back of Desert.
We need more plot armors around his name. I don't think that constitutes plot armor. I think going into a pendant ice, you know, that you don't know is a pendant ice is kind of just a, a decision you make. I don't think it's... Plot armor is like extraordinary circumstances that are like, this man should have been punished. He should have been sent straight to jail. And instead, like you paid for his dinner. All right, that's plot armor to me. Andy farming crabs and Zoras for money outside of Zora's waterfall for two or three minutes to get 500 rupees to find your lamp at Zora. That's plot armor, okay? Andy not checking room a hope for an easy sword and then getting a sword on climb at Moldorm's uh, pre Moldorm chest at the Helmosaur room. That's plot armor. Going to Ice Palace and finding a red cane is not plot armor. That is just a play. This has been an education session. Session. Oh my god, I can't talk anymore. It's been. It's only been an hour and fifty-three. Session. There we go. Session. I speak more Ontarian right now. Session. There we go. And he getting his third crystal. He's taking the lead. Is this a best of three or a singles match? Thankfully, it's a singles match. <laughs> Thankfully, it's a singles match. Honestly, I think, I feel like BO3s, BO5s are a little drawn out. Um, shorter randomizer, sure. SMZ3, I get why you'd want a BO3 final. This is not a BO3 final friendly tournament. Like, Nate's gonna put on the moves here. Oh, he almost dodged all three. That was some sick morph action, though. Got through the uh, the first two. Was like, man, this is taking too damn long. I'm just going to swag on him. And style. And just show Andy, like, how it looks when you actually bypass the uh, key hunters, you know. No game two is scheduled after this, right? Nah, not happening. Guys, if game two is happening after this, I would make like speed gaming and just throw it up castless. I would just like, here you go. Here's the screen capture. No one's casting it. <laughs> like, Andy's digging. Finally, we get a dig here. Misery Myers small key. All right. Oh, man. We have some mirror text here from Andy now. This is our first look at the out of logic uh, mirror preparation that Andy is able to pull off. Uh, just missiles here in 45. And, or Nate is going to go back into desert. Has both the small big key. Will be able to basically follow in Andy's footsteps. Get the third crystal here. Again, Andy's just a touch ahead, guys, I think. It's really dependent on how this mid to end game light leads. I feel like Andy's just a touch ahead. An annoying thing that Andy's ahead on that Nate's going to kind of wince at a little maybe is that uh, Ellen Big Key being in wreck ship. Andy's going to go to do the chest. Yeah, he's going to do it. He has mirror and uh, he's going to see that sword. <laughs> Oh! Oh, did Andy not do that? Hold on. Oh! Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> oh, that's a big miss! Oh, those are flippers in Desert Big Chest. Andy did not do the big chest. Andy did not do the big chest. Andy is going up to a multi-level cave. He's going to lose this purple chest here. I don't think Andy realizes this. This is going to be the double. 
You know how there's like, there was the double Dion in the World Junior Canadian Championships? It's like the double, no, the purple chest is here, damn it. I thought it was gonna be gone. I was gonna laugh for like two minutes. Now I can't. The skippers, yeah, I know, that's, that's, that's a rough nest. So yeah, now Ice Palace is actually logic. So that Red Canes and, and Mirrors in logic. But more importantly, that'd be Swamp Access, right? Like my ass would beeline there immediately, basically. Like yeah, I have all the all the fixins, you know what I mean? I'd probably go to ice. I would go to swamp before ice, I think, at this point. I don't know, I think that's a tough call. I think without red cane, I probably prefer ice, or I prefer swamp. As Andy finds uh high jump boots here. I don't know, it's just a preference thing, right? You can't mirrors in ice. Oh, it's forced. Okay, yeah, that's not that's not great for Andy. The good news is he doesn't have much left. But if this is something Andy forgot because he played 36 hours of SMRK today, I, it's gonna bite him, right? He's thinking about what to do. He's going back here. Hold on. Is he going to? He's gonna check out Meyer. He's like thinking. He's got that Andy confused face. He's going to Ellen. Oh God, boys. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're at DEFCON 2 right now, guys, I think. I think we're at DEFCON. No, not DEFCON 2. We're at DEFCON 4 right now, I think. Andy's going in with a really good play. He's going to get his first boss token here. Still is not equipped plasma. Is still triggering me. Nate, meanwhile, making his way into ice. This is so good for Nate here. He's going to get the mirror, and he's going to get the right gain here. Oh, my God. You know what? Nate might be in the lead post-Ice Palace. Let's see what's at Ridley. But Nate actually might be in the lead now. Plimer would be Swamp as a Pendant or an SM token, but we only need one. He can get it somewhere else. I, uh, the way the seed is gone and what they've already done, I don't think that's a possibility. I think there's going to be something required in Swamp at this point. I think there's going to be something they're going to want. I'm going to ban this guy. Ban. I love auto mod now, guys. I love auto mod. It's so good. So it picks up on the bots now. It's so good. It's so good. Twitch is stepping up their game, guys. They're sweat they're stepping up their game. Uh, Alright. Nate getting through the spiky hallway in Ice Palace. Andy is gonna head towards LN proper to go and kill Ridley. I think it's really rude to come into, you know, a space dragon's room at night and just murder him, but that's just me. Uh, no hovers here from Nate. He's going to sub the IBPJ. IPBJ. That's the one. And uh, gets it pretty cleanly, actually. Uh, yeah, you're right. It is hard mode. So Suitless Meridia could also come into play here. And I feel like it's even more functional with those flippers that Nate has, honestly. Because now you know, like, pretty much all Meridia is in logic. We don't have a lot of Meridia keys, though. We do have the second one. So what the second key does for Meridia is that I can go in from the portal in Dark World. And I can pretty much do almost all Meridia with that. So it gets me, like, direct access to Aqueduct. I can do, uh, you know, Batwoon if I want to. I can take it all the way to whatever, and it's faster. To kind of get through Meridia north to south when you don't have a suit high jump boots were in uh we're in the graveyard there's the right cane for nate and he finally gets plasma on thank god man has 35 supers now puts on plasma now i see why he put on plasma <laughs> oh my god the super bleed it's got to calm, 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 Andy, calm, it. Oh, my, stop going full sending into Ridley, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. This man has no fear. <laughs> that was.
was a pretty sick jump, though. That was a pretty sick jump for Randy. Arcade vibes? I mean, the man would be dead in seconds, dude. <laughs> He'd be dead in seconds. Crystal 7 here from Ridley. Uh, so Ridley is required. So this is a really good pull here from Andy. Another bottle. I think he's at three, Nate, maybe at two. I don't really care about the bottle count past one, but we'll mark him anyways. Boom. 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 And he's just doing a little bit of a post farm here. Uh, if he's doing post farm here, that's indicating to me he's going to want to reverse out. I don't think he wants... He's he's not going to be doing this just for normal elements. He, he's got to be doing it for reverse. Is that GT small for Nate? I think he has two now. Yeah, he has two now. So Andy's ahead four to three on crystals. And Nate is not too far behind. Has flippers? That is the big story now. What a wild race, huh, guys? Like, with Nate missing more early against Andy, and now Andy missing these flippers? Crazy finals right now. I feel like the ultimate be all end all plot armor is just if swamp's not required at all i think that's the ultimate plot armor but that's that's really that's really asking for a lot nate meanwhile is setting up for his closer fight here my guess is that andy does marsh into mirror to desert big Oh yeah, the first plot armor, the first MasterCard plot armor was like Andy not doing any of Aqueducts. And then got like giga bailed out. I remember that now. Yeah, I remember that now. Daddy remembers. Remember Andy losing a seed? Versus with his porn not needing morph at all. Yes, I do actually. <laughs> I do. Um, that was most one of the most insane finishes I've ever seen. Andy, I remember Andy DMing me afterwards, like, "What is this?" Because <laughs> I remember Andy had to uh, he had to bail last minute. So instead of like just leaving the tournament in general, like we just. He just basically was able to uh, to play out his seeds early. So it's like, okay, I'll gen the seeds. You got to give me your times. So, you know, you do the, the usual acing stuff, right? And um, <laughs> so he was in semi one. So if he made it to day two, because day two was going to be like, I think semis and finals, if I remember correctly. Or it was like best of, no, because then it was going to go to the finals on the second day. I remember because it was a two day. And, uh, yeah, he didn't get that shot because he, he saw the result. He's like, what is this? <laughs> oh, God. I don't blame him for that reaction, though. It's, like, super rare for that to happen. Like, dare I say kind of dumb luck, right? Like, Morph, I th if I remember, like, Morph was on Pyramid, too. And literally nothing was Morph locked. <laughs> it was so crazy. Really not sure Andy remembers he skipped it. I There's zero chance he remembers. There's zero chance he remembers, guys. Leaving Desert Big in this position is not a thing you you rationally do. Like, with, with thought process. It's something where you forget it. Like, 99.9% .9 of the time. The only way I'm calling that 99.9 .9 and not the full 100 is maybe you're not doing it um in the sense of oh i can route something else within it but even that would be like super unrecommended imo in my humble opinion beep, beep. all right annie's seeing the eastern palace crystal information now. 
Uh, sword number two was uh, green pendant cash in. So we've had purple chest and green pendant. Kind of crazy. Our first look at a swamp here. Nate's going to go in. Annie now checking some of these uh, some of these skips he did. He's going into Ice Rock Cave. He's going to get disappointed. I feel like I should be minimizing this. Uh, was that the boss key for Criteria? I believe, yes it was. A swamp palace is required, guys. Whether you like it or not. Giga required, guys. Yeah, so blood armor be damned. It's not happening this time. He can't keep getting away with it, guys. It's just not possible. All right, we got Specky! Specky clip, everyone. Doesn't even get the red mail, the disrespect. And he's gonna go back in here for Hera Basement. Okay. All right, so guys, I will call it out here. If something really good is that Hera Basement, is it kind of plot armor in its way? Maybe? Maybe? We have to see what it is. If gravity's here, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'll run another tournament. If gravity's here, I don't know if I might be done. I might be done hosting tournaments. <laughs> bow would be a yeah. I think bow or gravity here. I would just I would just be done. I'm like you know what? I'm I'm retiring. I'm I'm through. Ah <laughs> uh, man, I think I I think that would be it for me. I'm just feeling like, uh, all right. I'm good. All right, Nate's gonna set the bomb diver down here. I really suck at this. So kudos to him. He gets it really nicely. All right. So um, fun fact though, I will kind of call this out. With Specky Clip. All right, guys. Well, this is the last tournament I'm going to host. All right. Let's just, uh, let's just uh, here. Wait, where is it? I can't see it. Where is it though? Okay, we're just gonna do it this way. We'll just do it the manual way, guys. is it where did i put it dude <laughs> where did i put it all right this is how i feel right now guys you guys ready for it that's how i feel right now
That's an old classic, by the way. <laughs> that's me in the background. That's him just getting that bow. He's like, oh, sorry, Solsky, gotta go. He can't keep getting away from me. He is! I can't even add any plot armors! He's he's tainted my OBS. I've completely lost focus on this match. I have no idea what Nate got in Swamp. Andy, I don't even care what he's getting in TR. The worst Thanksgiving ever. It's a pendant or a boss token for Nate's. I'm losing control fast, guys. I gotta get, I gotta rein this in. I gotta add the plot armor, but I can't find the plot armor. Why can I not find the plot armor? Where is it sourced? I should be smart. There it is. Okay, I see where it is. Okay, okay, pog. Big if true. Uh, image, add image. Go to browse. Go to that folder. Uh, where are you? Chatroom, your uh, MasterCard plot armor play of the day winner is uh, Andy Lasso uh, with the bow pole in <laughs> Hera Basement by virtue of skipping flippers in Desert Big Chest. Andy will need to find those flippers, of course, but uh, I think just getting that bow was quite disgusting. Uh, all right, Nick, in that pot small here in Spike Chest. I, I've lost control of this race cast, dude. <laughs> Oh, God. Andy's played, what, five or six matches? He's gotten plot armors in four of them. All right. He's gotten plot armors in four of them. Let that sink in, guys. I'm looking at Nate's tracker right now. I don't see anything substantially picked up in Swamp. The only thing I can tell is another pod small, and that's about it. So I'm gonna mark him for four pod smalls now, yeah. Oh, there's gravity, yeah, just keep layering it on. Just keep layering it on. Like it's unlimited trip week at Red Lobster. You know, you just kind of keep getting the goods. This man is going right back to Eastern Pod. Um, no try next. He does not have the TR big key. Or if he does, he doesn't have enough small keys. So just looking at his key count, he only has two. He needs three be able to get to the boss. Nate is going for the bow. There is. There is a god. All right. All right. This is good. This is balance to the universe of randomizers everywhere. Oh my god, this I'm I'm invested now. Chat, I am all in on this race. Oh, I am all in on this race. This is a fantastic view now. Oh, yeah. Oh, you love to see it. He's going to get his plasma now. He's going to feel good about this, man. He's going to be like, oh, shit. This is like a big play. Is it plot armor if the opponent gets it five minutes later? Yes, it's still plot armor. All right. <laughs> it's still plot armor. So, Chad, I'm going to spell this out for you, all right? And it's going to spell disaster without actually listing the letters. Andy now has bow and gravity ahead of those flippers. Those flippers led to Criteria boss key, which is a critical piece of the puzzle here. Andy's got a lot of shit to do now, all right? Like, he's got a substantial amount of checks. He in big trouble, all right? He might be gone. He, he could be gone here, but we'll have to wait and see. 
They getting dead rocked a little bit. Well, it all depends on like when he remembers, right? Like if you forget something, you're like, oh, I gotta go back. I feel like the second you remember Desert Big Chest, you're going back immediately. So between now and whatever that is, I would not be surprised. I'm not saying you're like mirroring out of here and going back, but I'm saying like, yikes. Uh, the plot armor will fire back. Uh, it already kind of is. <laughs> Question mark. So bow grav. So we're just looking for ether now, I guess, at this point. We're looking for ether. What else are we looking here for, guys? We don't know what the SM boss requirement is. I'm kind of pissed off Nate hasn't gone and checked yet, to be honest. Um, with having that key in hand. But I, I get the patience. He's going to want to do it after TR, regardless of what's here. I am O. I am H O. I don't know how else I can expand that acronym. But you're going to want to check it. Um, and then the final piece of the puzzle is where is ether? Because I feel like I'm, if I'm looking at the tracker right, we might not even need to be TR, right? Meyer is the only consideration, so we just need Meyer, Big Key, and Ether. I am BHO. Now you're just trying too hard. Now you're just swinging for the fences, you know. Mm -mm. Pendant. Get out! It is one! <laughs> Screw attack for Andy. Pendant for Andy. Alright, guys. Alright. If Ether or Meyer Big Key is on pedestal. Alright. I will double his current plot armor count on stream. <laughs> I will I will double the count. <laughs> then I just won't know to believe anymore. I think reality is is bended so much. Double or nothing? I don't think we want to go that far. Uh, now the most important question: Will we get Quispy though? Uh, next question: Pet check? Maybe. I think pet check honestly after Eastern is not a bad call for Andy. He can do worse things right now. Did they not kill Colster? No, nah, he died. He got him. I think this was during the whole swamp and ice or swamp and hair basement debacle. And I didn't really get a chance to double check the tracker. Yeah, man, missing these flips is uh, is real bad. Is real bad. The good news, okay, so this is the good news, Randy. Is nothing else was in swamp of value? So past the post, you just need that criteria boss key and like chest two, and then you're out of there for like go mode at this point. Unless, unless that boss token's required. But even then, you're in go mode, you're like going right to the boss. So there's still, there's a lot of time save potential there for Andy. I don't want to say it's all doom and gloom. But it's just dependent on like where, like what happens and like where he gets progress here at this point. Bryn one key was in there, was it? Oh yeah, I, I probably missed it during the whole debacle. And Andy should have Bryn one or Criteria one, right? Yeah, he has Criteria 1. Does Nate... Nate does not have Criteria 1. So that's kind of bad for Nate, actually. Not having Criteria 1. Because Criteria 1 led to... Actually, no. It only led to uh, Kray, which only led to a sword. So it's not that big of a deal. And he's trying to solve logic so hard. That's the face he's making. He's like, huh? Huh? He's probably thinking Meridia. Like, he has front and Meridia with gravity available. I don't think he's that desperate for logic yet. He knows this Criteria 1 key card is available. He's going to do Insula to get it. Or Criteria 1. This uh, level 1 key card. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be Upper Norfair at this point. It's either Meridia or Upper Norfair. Oh no! 
Andy, no! <laughs> he's in gamer jail. Uh, he's got a he's got a S and Q. He doesn't have a chance. If he mirrors here, he'll mirror ball. Yeah, he's got a he's got a S and Q. He's gonna try and insult. I don't think he's gonna have the distance or the proper distance. He's gonna try. Yeah, it's it's too far away. Oh, look at this guy just pulling it off. So he didn't want the key card? Okay. Oh, he's going to Meridia. That's why. Got it, got it, got it. I'm I'm really shocked. So he probably forgot about the he probably forgot about the Hylia uh, key card as well. Then I think at this point, because like why I don't understand if you're going back here, like why you wouldn't want to burn that for that? Because then I could just do all of Meridia basically, right? That was where my head's going. I know back is always faster, but I want to risk. I would risk that being one Meridia and then just doing one and two together from south to north. I feel like that would be better. If you're fake flippering, you can't mirror. Then don't fake flipper forehead. You Jesus dash. That's why he didn't. All right, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Uh, was there anything else in TR? I feel like there was, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Doesn't look like it. Do 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 do. All right, Nate is now going into Eastern. Andy's gonna do Meridia. This could be a big loss of time for Andy. Just kidding! Just kidding, by the way. That one's not plot armor, guys. That's not plot armor. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Either here would be hilarious. Uh, a boss key is just as funny. TBQH. Oh, by the Jesus. He's saying no for now, but he's going to go back for it. He's going to have to. Well, he doesn't have to, but it's incredibly advised that he does at this point. Like, he doesn't know what his crystals are yet, right? He's not going to know. Like, we know that Swamp is a boss token. He does not know that. He has two pendants marked for information. Actually, he has all three. Did he not go to ped, guys? Hold on, he has all three pendants, right? Why did he not go to pedestal? What is he thinking? There's another one! <laughs> he's, he's laughing and he's shaking his head. He's like, what is this shit? <laughs> oh, that's so bad. He's got to go back and do both. He's got to do both. He's got to do both. He's going to go and do Shack Tool here. You know, I don't blame him with how this is going. That's pretty funny, though. That is that is really funny. I don't think I've ever seen separate pits having a boss key card each before. So that's kind of a treat. It's the pits. Hmm. Sure is. Terrace 27 minutes is match. Uh, we have what? One, two, three, four crystals for Andy. We have three for Nate. 
Nate does have an SM boss token on Andy in terms of swamp. I would say this race is still pretty close. I would still say this is pretty close. Maybe because Pet is out of logic without flips. I think you still do it regardless. It's just like one more check you're just kind of leaving in the ether. And it's a big one too, right? Oh, he's got wave for full beam. So there you go. Uh, ooh, everyone's like, oh yeah, Quispy. Crispy! There we go. Beep, 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 beep. That's where the Criteria 1 key card was. Okay, I couldn't remember where it was. So Nate's now found that. That's going to lead to Bryn Boss. Which again, may or may not be relevant. Nate's going to know there's a boss key card there, though. Leave me alone, Solsky. There are a few things left that give me joy in life. Let me have my Quispy. I'm not taking your Quispy away. All right. You can have your Quispy. It's not really anything. I know I'm being like, there's nothing else in Meridia. Just like Meyer Big plus two boss key cards, but... This seed is really spread out, guys. This is a very, very, very well spread out seed. It's kind of rare to see it this spread out, actually. All right, there's Nate's shovel, finally. It's incredibly well spread out. There we go, another small key uh, for Misery Mire. All right. Yeah, what a fitting end to the Grimace. Uh, so yeah, like most, um, you know, like most companies that do anything with like pets, um, with Grimace being done after this, guys, um, you know, we will be taking our Grimace mascot to the shelter. Um, you know, you can, you can kind of, I guess, how do they call it? I don't want to say rescue it. You can adopt them. Um... I probably would within the next three weeks. <clears throat> Alright, Nate's making his way back into the uh into Helmosaur here. Andy, uh question mark, where are you going? <laughs> Send Grimace to farm up state, God. <laughs> Alright, chat, we're not we're not going further, right? We're not going further. All right, we got we got four. Did he remember? No, he did not remember. He would not be going here if he remembered. Uh, where is he going? Yeah, he might be going back to Meridia. You're right. So he's probably going back to Meridia and then probably going to wreck ship boss at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he's doing. Wasting all his resources, you know. As you do. I still don't know what the SM boss requirement is. Nate, please. Why is he going this way? Hold the phone. Oh, he's resetting it. Smart. Smart. He's getting a better pattern? He almost died? He almost died. Yeah, those mushroom guys will, like, ruin your day. Nate's going to get his screw attack and his pendant here. 
Again, pretty close, pretty close race. Nate is catching up. Nate is catching up substantially on Andy right now. Uh, you know, Nate is going to have to make a trip to Meridia eventually, but it's that swamp trip, right? And that's huge for Nate right now. It's huge. Is Nate check pad now? Uh, I don't think Nate has. No, Nate doesn't have uh, Brinstar done. So he can't, he can't like open pads. So he's probably just waiting. He doesn't even have the boss key for it yet. I imagine that's what he's going to pick up now with this reset. Just kidding. He's going the other way. Yeah, he'll go over the here next though. He's just checking ship first and then he's going to go over to Gauntlet. X-ray strats from Andy. Fry him. Shameful display. Did not kill him. There we go. Dragon's dead. All right, Nate has ice now. There we go. All right, so Dre was a crystal. All right. Uh, all right, sets so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's all the crystals then. So by that, Andy knows now that Rex Ship is a boss token. He probably gets it, but he doesn't have to at this point. He could go for the warp here and hope to leverage three or four boss tokens as risk. So he's probably calculating that right now and thinking whether or not he not he actually needs to pull that trigger or not. The problem he's in, and the reason why he's probably going to get this key, is he doesn't have a lot left. So that's why he's going through this two-door and he's going to get this key. So in terms of like, he knows it's a boss token, but it's so much more than that to him right now because it's a lot of items. Nate is going to check the requirements. It is two. All right. All right. We know our finals requirement finally. Export as. Random settings. So two mother brain, one Ganon, seven GT entries. So we need all seven crystals and only two boss tokens. Nate has one, Andy has zero at this current count. But Andy is quite ahead on crystals. He does have five to Nate's three. But in terms of Andy, having Rex ship now, he's gonna get his first boss token because he's probably gonna go there next. It's gonna be pretty good for him. Nate's at four crystals. You are right. He has Eastern. Does he go up to tube to plasma? Most likely. He still is missing quite a bit, so I don't think he's gonna want to skip anything here. I might, but you know that's me. I don't blame him here for going for it. Uh, Nate is going down here. Why is he going down here? Does he have criteria? He's oh, he has Brinstar one. That's why. Gotcha. Nate should have Ice Rod now as well. Should have Ice Rod. Yeah, he does have it. All right. Bum -bum. Boop, 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 boop. Just 10 arrows here. Not what Andy's quite looking for. So that means Andy's flippers from go. He still needs ether. Still needs ether. Nate getting that third key for TR. So that's like a guaranteed boss token for Nate. So he's functionally and go for that. So yeah, his SM his SM is good now. He's in go for SM. Now it's just that ether. Where are you at? Nate is still on Fighter Sword. He still has GT available to him. So I imagine if he gets to the point where he's in go, he probably starts looking a little bit in the easy checks in GT. 
Andy taking Forgotten Highway. Spicy take, but the incorrect one. This one takes so much time. <laughs> it takes so much time. I think in terms of getting that boss key, though, it's probably the right call for where he's at. And doing plasma. I get it. I understand. I don't know where Nate's going, though. Where is Nate headed to? I'm curious. He's already done all this, right? He's already done all this. Maybe he's going to Meridia from here? Oh, look at the space jump action. Falls. Falls again. He's good. Yeah, so Nate's going to head towards Meridia here. That's the only thing I can think of why he would go this route. Maybe Kraid's warehouse along the way. Did he? Yeah, he did do Gauntlet, right? Yeah, he did do Gauntlet. So he has that boss key. I'm really worried for Andy though. Like again, it's a tough one. Like you gotta remember about that lost location or forgot. Right? So the sooner you full clear the game at this point, the better. Because I feel like you're not it's, you could still remember about it, but it's very unlikely you would remember a forgotten check like that. Like it happens. I'm not i I'm not ruling it out. Don't worry, he'll get bailed out. <laughs> Mataka's gonna just like straight up go into Andy's chat. Go to Desert Big! And he's setting up the X ray here on Fantune. Unfortunately, does get hit while he's shooting, so uh, did not work. Why would you do that? I'm joking. Boo doo doo doo. Bang, 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 bang. Great Bosch. All right, Andy's first Boston. On a serious cast. Yes, the SMZ3 Grimace Memorial. Hard keys, random goal, starting boots, and random item tournament. Serious cast. Big key to Thieves Town. Pretty ass, not gonna lie. That's right up there with one of the last things you want to see here. Small key against tower. So Nate is going through Meridia right now. Where are you going to, boy? Are you going direct to Shack Tool? What is wrong with you, Nate? <laughs> what is this? Oh, he didn't go through the back way, so this is all he has left. That's why. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why he's doing it. Okay, I understand. I understand. I thought for a second he like he didn't do any of Meridia. Like he just checked the first. Like uh he checked like Main Street and that was it. And I was gonna scream. We still have no sign of ether. We sure do. Very high percent that's here. Uh, we haven't seen Meyer. We haven't seen any of Meyer, but it can't be at Meyer. Uh, we haven't seen Back of Thieves. So in terms of what we haven't seen, we haven't seen Trinex. We haven't seen Back of Thieves. We haven't seen Lava Chest. We haven't seen uh, most Wreck Ship here. So my guess is that Wreck Ship, and it's at Wreck Ship. <laughs> Easy and or free. Um. Not an ideal spot for Nate, but I don't think it's a spot he's going to miss. So, in terms of, like, I guess what we need, I think we got it all now, guys. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man, of course Andy gets bailed out by going to the highest percentage area. Dude, my dude, how does he keep doing it?
There ain't no way, brother. Uh, Nate's gonna get his Quispy here. Just slam into that glass. Atta boy, Andy. <laughs> I'm giving the guy a lot of shit who's been pretty much playing video games for like eight hours today. <laughs> oh, man. I was just surprised, so I think, uh, I think I was on the car ride back from being out somewhere today, and I saw that he was streaming already. It was like, SM Final, SMZ3 Finals at 6, it was like, like 2pm, I was like, wow, okay. It's a long day. It's a long day. Yeah, unfortunately, this would probably be Andy's go mode here. Uh, if you have flips, but he's going to continue to check the rest wreck ship. I don't know. I feel like a sword found here can really hurt Nate. I think that's a pretty big equalizer. Oh, he almost got the soft poop. Almost got it. Actually, I guess soft poop is technically gauntlet, but I guess it kind of works here too. He's playing too much arcade, guys. He's trying to shoot the block. Oh my god, it's melting his brain. It's so funny to see. It's too much arcade. He's gonna go for the secret now. No, he's gonna leave it. All right, Nate's gonna go for um crate here. Okay. I don't think he has information on what crate is, so he's just gonna assume maybe crystal, maybe pendant, maybe uh, boss token. You know. It's pretty free to do, honestly. It's not a bad call. <laughs> He's got a monkey on his back over arcade. He's just upset because he got the high score at Beach Week. And none of you guys saw it. I saw it, chat. I was there. Dude, the news of the day is... I actually did the SM Arcade high score. He just picked up the controller for the picture, you know. Just got here. Who's ahead? Me. I am. Uh, green pendant for Nate's. Uh, serious question. Both are kind of tied until further notice. Where was that Meridia 2 key card? Nate has the Meridia 2 key card. So he just has to swim his ass over to that thing, and he's pretty much going to be on the path to go mode here. I think if Andy goes to Meyer next, which I imagine he's gonna do, that might be the trigger point to say, oh shit, I forgot about Desert Pig. All right, here's the flute. We should see flute two eight here. Or six, sorry. He's fluting over. I'm I'm watching his face right now. Like I'm not even watching gameplay. I'm just watching his face. Okay. He still looks confused. He still looks very confused. Can we get an Andy cam, face cam, live looking? Zebra, I'm already breaking protocol by capturing Chrome windows for this race, which I normally don't do because my other setup broke. Well, it didn't break. I haven't used it in a while, so it's probably just needs to be updated. Uh, I will not do that. <laughs> I will not do that right now. 
I was worried actually the chrome windows were gonna look pretty bad for quality, but it's actually not too bad. Andy's a little is a little cloudy, but overall it's pretty good. Thieves Town Small Key. Just what you want to see when you have the back of Thieves still to do. Supers for Annie. Nate has made the play to back a Meridia. This is really good for him. Uh, he doesn't know it, but he's on the path to greatness right now. But he's going the wrong way. <laughs> he is going the wrong way, though. So, it's like one final interesting question on Nate's side is he's blessed with information at this point, right? When he sees Rex Ship and Dre Bosky, which one does he go for? I imagine you always go for Dre because you're here. But like, do you go back for Rex Ship, knowing you're so close to go? Because you're gonna get like Meyer Bicky. I guess you can't go into Meyer without Ether, so you're good there. He kind of has to just chase it, right? Like, I don't think he's I don't think he's in a position to leave it at all. So. Yeah, I think Andy's just on the on a on the clock now, just to remember about that uh, about those flippers at this point. Let's mark them both for spring ball here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No extra sword yet for Andy in either Rex Ship or Meyer. Small key for Ganon's tower. Another one. For Andy. Where is Nate going? Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's gonna say. Misery Meyer Bicky. There it is. We're almost there, guys. We just need that ether. Uh, we also need that. Meridia Bosky, but that's pretty much coming up right now. So in terms of Nate, what are you missing? I don't think anything. He doesn't have Ellen's big key. Is that correct still? He does not have Ellen's big key. So missing that, that is his go mode, I think, at this point. I don't remember where that big key was. Ellen? No, Ellen's big key was not in Wreck Ship. Ether's in Wreck Ship. LM Bakey, I want to say, is somewhere in Link to the Past. I just don't remember where. It's in Rex Ship, like confirmed, 100%. I'm pretty sure, didn't Andy kill? Yeah, I was going to say Thieves Town Bakey is in Rex Ship. Oh, it's in the spooky missiles. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw this thing of like, Rex Ship, are you guys sure? Like, he's Andy's already killed Ridley. I forgot Andy only went in for the two items in Rex Ship. 100%. Yeah, no, you guys are right. You guys are right. You guys are like, no shit, Solsky, right? Come on, man. Like, please. Just listen to us next time, bro. Andy uh, is in a pretty scary fight. I'm going to face cam here. He's giggling as he's holding one hand on his controller. He's shaking his head. Laughing his ass off. Like this is a big joke to him. He's like, I'm so funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny though. It was pretty funny. Yeah, he's like, yeah, man, this... Why would I do this? Let's see if he mirrors. Goodbye! <laughs> 
Goodbye. Where is Nate going? Yeah, and there he goes. I love how Kelsey and Andy's chat is like, Andy, you deserve to die like four times. That was some garbage shit. Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. I don't know how he didn't die. Uh, I, I don't understand it. All right, guys, let's split the diff here, all right? Let's say the bow was half a plot armor and that fight was half a plot armor, all right? We're at the even, we're at the even Steven, all right? We're at the even Steven, we're just at the one. That's all we need to stay at. Burn the silvers on the small eyes and had to spin and kill the last one anyways, yeah. All right, so Nate has that Meridia big key. Let's mark him down for that. Uh, Nate is leaving? Nate can't go back. He doesn't have Meridia 1. Ooh, no, Nate did not die. He doesn't have Meridia 1. So he has to do this really jank route. Andy now with all seven crystals in hand. Because I haven't marked his Easter crystal forever. I don't know why. Uh... <laughs> Is going to GT here. Looking for GT Big Key. Because it could be in here. And looking for flippers. Because it could be in here. He, My man is going to clear all of GT here. <laughs> you hate to see it, chat. No, it makes it makes a thousand... This is 100% a logical decision. It's just... It's kind of painful to watch. I actually didn't even think that this was an option, to be honest. I forgot this was an option here. Flippers can't be here. That's actually incorrect. Flippers can 100% be here. Actually, no, you are right. Flippers can't be here. Uh, no, wait. No, you're wrong again because it's a pendant. Oh, wait, no, you're right because Red Cane is in Ice Palace. Oh, my God, the pivots. How do I quadruple down and I'm still wrong? Yes, I know. I know. I know. Samari is in Ice. All right. You know what? It's fine. GT Big Key can be here. <laughs> GT Big Key can be here still. Norfair level one key card on the island. All right. For Nate. The GT Big Key we got three hours ago, it could still be here. I also think that Andy at this point is just maybe lost in the sauce, so we'll have to see in terms of like the rando logic. No, I don't mean GT big. I mean criteria big. God, guys, you know what? It's been a long day. It's been a long day. All right, guys. It's been a long day. Uh, either was in wreck ship. Either was in wreck ship. <laughs> Who has lost the sauce? I only have one beer. Yes, I mean the criteria big. Yes, that is the one I meant. I was like, whoo. Right, so that's why he's checking it. All right, so there's crystal one for me. So 
So I will call out the bad news bears here for Nate is like, there's still no sword that Andy has not found in GT. So there's no freebie that I can see. So Nate's still gonna find a second sword. So maybe he does decide to do most direct ship at that point. Uh, it's green pendant cash in. So I don't think he's... I think by the time he hits wreck ship, he's not going to be thinking it, honestly. That's my thought process. He's probably... His head's probably going to more high value plays like GT, but we'll see. There are zero swords behind Ice Armos. If there's two... Like, we, we have what? We have, like, Thieves Town still back. We have, like, Trinex. We have Lava Chest. We have... Uh, I want to say pedestal. God, man. Tile room. That very, uh, I thought Andy might have done that already. No, he didn't. So he just admire. Like it could be, but I think you do GT first. I don't know, it's it's tough to say. It's real tough. Big key for Swamp Palace. Oh god, it's like the What are those called again? the water rods or whatever like you're trying to draw you're trying to find water underground so you have those the, the divine rods that's what they're called dude it's so easy to ban these accounts now it's pogtastic access denied all right, Nate doing plasma as well. Andy's gonna climb GT here. You have to do this anyways. Andy's gonna full clear the game before going back to big chest. Fact. <laughs> I think if he didn't remember, the big remember point would have been Meyer because you're in the area. But I, I wholeheartedly agree that he's long gone at this point. Again, Nate will not necessarily hit go mode. He still needs to find that sword. I think at this point, there might be one here on the climb that he's going through. I, that would be my guess. But there's still some really nasty ass spots the other two swords can be. Like, I'm not saying you don't go to Sash to cash in Green Pendant, but at this point, there's so many other plays. So many. Uh, what's the tournament prize at Grimace Plushie? So, as a joke, I was talking to Annie. I was like, you know, you know what would be a great prize? Hold on, let's do it in these two chests. Is if I just um, decide to rent out like a Grimace costume and I had to fly to someone's house, whoever won in said grimace costume and then just uh show up their house for a day and i'd be like their you know their grimace boy i don't know 
You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like a Grimace hoedown. Non-sexual, of course. <clears throat> Live stream the entire trip? <laughs> God, dude. You imagine getting through security? I don't even think you would pass security wearing that thing. That'd be the problem. You'd have to like desuit for the plane. Even if I like drove, I would still have to desuit getting through customs. Like, there's zero chance they just let me get away with wearing a, a costume. <laughs> Are they trying to the x-ray Phantom? We just gotta do a little bit more damage. Some missiles. Yeah, so no sword on climb. So again, Bat Fairy. Pack of Thieves. We know there's a guaranteed sword at Sash, but that's kind of a big ask at this point. This is a big ask. Um What else is there? God. I think that might be like Trinex, Lava Chest. Pedestal. All right, there's Kray Boss for Nates. I don't know if Nate's going to do any more wreck ship. He has LN to go back to. I don't think he knows this yet. He might not know about the last crystal. Did Nate check left side swamp? Yes, he did. So Nate's going to get that big key now. And he's just going to drop through and do Ganon now. Honestly, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. He's going to get the, the real good pattern here, too. Unfortunately, it's still phase one. All right, there's Ether for Nate. Andy on to phase three again. Oh, he's getting the triple. Nah, triple. Oh, he only got two there. Okay. A uh, Nate is going to continue on through wreck ship. Okay. Honestly, not a bad play. He knows he needs that sword still. And Annie is now done with Ganon. He's almost there. Andy, I think, is now going to Pyramid Fairy? Yeah. It's going to go to Pyramid Fairy. If I see a sword there, I, it's a good spot, like an early spot to do, but I think I do GT first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making that 
pod small. I guess uh, pod could have some swords too, which is pretty bad, actually. I don't think either runner have checked the other chests. And no sword here in Pyramid Fairy either. That's kind of crazy. It's honestly kind of crazy. So Andy's going to go three here, probably for Thieves. He may pull Ped thinking that it could be Criteria Boss still, but he knows Flippers aren't going to be there. Nate went in with five. Okay, so he did do everything. All right, all right. Yeah, here comes the pedestal pull. An alien key, it says a day at the be <laughs> Oh no, he's going back. <laughs> Nate stream, no, dude, the cast. No, bro. Boo. <laughs> oh no, dude. Let's refresh. Follow and get notified when he's live. Rip, dude. <laughs> Some technical difficulties, guys. I can't help this with the live cast, you know. These are the things. SMZ3 Grimace Giga. Oh, he's back. He's back. There we go. All right, easy, easy chat. American IPs, am I right guys? Am I right guys? Do you guys have fiber by the way? Do you, does, like there's fiber in America, right? Is it Google Fib? Is that the only provider I think? I'm pretty sure you guys have it. Oh, Verizon had it too? Alright, alright. Cox, Verizon, and Google. What a name for a, uh, a telecom company, by the way, Cox. <laughs> it's too easy, guys. And he's back in Meyer area. He going in. Oh, that's Nate. Never mind. <laughs> oh, all right. Solsky needs... Guys, I need sleep. <laughs> I need sleep. It's been a long day. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I... Thank you, guys. I know Andy's in Thieves. <laughs> oh, my God. It's been a long day, guys. been a day um yeah Nate has two smalls fourth bottle Oh my god, where are these swords, dude? <laughs> so Nate is gonna kind of full clear mire here looking for a sword. Oh man. He's getting a thief small here. I don't know if I do this. I don't know if I commit this far in. What else would be a possibility for Nate here? Because he has everything else, right? Andy? Andy? Oh, that's so close. It's really well done. 
the supers. P. He's not getting what he wants. But he knew there was a uh, boss token here, so. Alright, I need to go back to Andy's cam here. I need to see the confusion. He looks stoic. He's not even phased. He's kind of smiling a little bit, actually. He's thinking about things. No, he has three TR smalls. Boop. See? He's good. He also has five pod smalls now. Yeah. Andy? Oh, he's going to Meridia. That's why. God. <laughs> okay, if a sword's here, that's really bad. If a sword's here, that's really, really bad. He's getting to CR Big Key's in the lava chest. No, CR Big Key was in uh was in swamp. Okay, it's tower small for Nate. There it is! There's another sword. <laughs> so pedestal to get a sword. Green pendant to get a sword. That's pretty gross. That's that's really that's really really gross, honestly. Okay, they're not both here. All right. So in terms of logistics, probably it's got to be TR, right? Like I don't think there's anywhere else that I can think of. Andy is now very confused. I imagine, yes. Oh yeah, he's 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 doing some big thinking right now. He's like, huh? This is this is really a bad spot though in SMZ3, especially keys. There's so many things that are gonna go through your mind now and say, what have I done? What have I not done? I think the natural, so this is like just from experience. I feel like every time I'm in this spot, I always pivot back to Link to the Past. I always say to myself, it's probably Link to the Past. Because in SM, you have good visualization of everything. It's very hard to skip something in SM. It does happen. I think the classic one is high jump for most, if not all runners. But I feel like the first thing you do is you go back to Link to the Past and start thinking about what you can do. Uh, Nate having no issues with his vitreous fight here, by the way, uh, has his sixth crystal now. Just needs to go to LN and take care of Ridley for seven. And he's now heading to East Death Mountain. Maybe he thinks it's TR with the small and big key, maybe. I don't know what options he has left outside of TR. I don't know what game options are left past TR that we haven't seen. He also doesn't have, so he also doesn't have the criteria boss key guys. So in his mind, it could be four tokens, right? So he doesn't know what it is. Um, you know, there's a good chance that's not four, but still I would rather do this hundred percent too.
Uh-oh. Don't die. His head, he, I feel for the guy right now. He put his hand on his head. He's like, oh, man. He's he's having a good laugh about it, at least. I can just tell he's tired. He's like, oh. I feel for him. Oh, man. I don't think past what Andy's doing here, he has anything left. I truly don't think he has anything left. So if that's the case, that's where the countdown clock begins to him trying to remember the location. But in a seed running this long, that's pretty rough. You usually get back to it, but it's, again, it could take a while. Uh, Nadon, meanwhile, is finished Ridley, so now he has all seven crystals. He's in go for both games, but he needs a sword to be able to defeat Ganon. And as we've seen in the seed, the swords are in really bad spots. So we have one in green pendant, Cashin, Sash, that's probably his easiest one. We have one <laughs> post pedestal at uh, Meridia Beach. That's... Probably one of the worst locations for swords I've ever seen. Yeah. And uh, we still don't know where this fourth one is. <laughs> we still don't know where the fourth one is. Uh, Sally might clear full GT looking for it. So that's my point. Is that that's kind of why this is so exciting. Like I feel like people are looking at this like, oh man, Andy's toast. I don't think that's the case at all. I think this is kind of a really interesting kind of finish. To, okay, when do we, like how do we get there, right? If I think what's going to happen happens, and if Nate Fall clears GT, I feel like Andy has a good chance of getting back to that location. Solsky Jinx? I don't think it's a Jinx at all. There is zero shot that Nate does Trinex before GT. There is zero shot. There's no sword on GT. This is where the thinking game happens. I think Andy's at that point now. He's shaking his head. He's like, I don't know. He's going to he's going to Eastern Pod area. He's gonna go to Clear Pod. Okay, because this is yeah. So this is stuff he couldn't do before with the keys he had. This is such an exciting finish. This is kind of cool. Like it's, it's a different kind of finish, especially in a finals. I don't think I've ever casted a finals in any game where it's like, this is your, your finish, right? Like it's usually, oh man, it's really super close or man, it's like really back and forth action at the end. Or, you know, you've had those heartbreaking like moments where it's like someone's super far ahead. I don't think I've seen one where I've had uh, you know, one runner, like, really fall off on finding an early item and then fall behind from that. But then another runner, like, 
accidentally skips another item and then it's just kind of a that divide to a back and forth and we're slowly kind of meeting back up so andy's still thinking i honestly i think andy's gonna think of it pretty quick we'll see he's looking puzzled i think he's realizing he's forgotten something so he's gonna do like the classics i think here Nate, meanwhile, is like sweating right now. <laughs> he's like, he's like wiping his neck and his face. He's like, oh god, man, just, just ended already. <laughs> uh, graveyard ledge? No, he did graveyard ledge. Graveyard ledge was uh, was uh, high jump. And he's saying, oh, he wants to get the one key card here on the island. See, this is what I don't like, is that he's looking for things away from the flips. I know why he's doing this, but it's just... I think at this point, you, you kind of look at the numbers, and you're like, I gotta find flips. Like, it's gotta be Swamp, right? I think he's just kind of hoping that he can edge case it and get around the flippers at this point. Yeah, as predicted, Nate's gonna pretty much clear GT here, I imagine, looking for a sword. He's going to not find one. He's going to go WTF. You know what I mean? What's the swamp that he needs? He needs the uh, Criteria boss key. Yeah, she's just, and she's like, okay. <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah, all right. Ice and crumble, sure. Dude, if the fourth sword's here, I'm gonna laugh because Nate has that key and he didn't go. Like, I understand why he didn't go, but oh god. God, I feel like I could do a whole John Boy episode over Andy's reactions right now. He's just like, huh? There's no way I missed something, right? Like. Right? Like, something's off here. I, I just don't know what it is, man. Like, the fourth sword's here. <laughs> oh, God, that's so nasty. All right, so we know where all four swords are. Andy having four swords to Nate's one is just par for the course on this scene. It's actually par for the course. Yeah, so we knew it's not in GT. Andy's already full clear GT. He's gonna do crumble here. He's powder. <laughs> He's like, okay, I guess. But yeah, maybe that's the answer. I don't know. Like, God, I feel like I could just do the John Boy on this for the next twelve minutes. <laughs> God, maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know about this. You know, man. Like, I, I'm just not sure. Oh man. <laughs> This is definitely a different kind of finals atmosphere. <laughs> and like, we're not like making fun of the runners or anything, guys. We're just, you know, it, the situation itself is, is where it's funny, right? I honestly feel for these guys. Nate has access to all the swords, essentially. Like Nate has uh, all pendants as well. Nate has access to that. Uh, we'll get access to that key card. Nate has access to green pendant cash in. He has access to crumble tower and ice. So yeah, he he can get any sword. He just has to go to the right spot. And they're all in bad spots. So again, this is the big saving grace for Andy here. Is now he's going to see nothing's here. Right? Okay, thank you. I was going to say, please don't string another key together. Now he's like, huh? What? This doesn't make sense. I did everything. What did I miss? Huh. 
the heartbreaking thing is he doesn't know that he's quite ahead to Nate here, right? Like, in terms of what he needs to do to finish, the this is the huge thing. I called it out a little bit earlier. Is that that big key in Swamp is super early in Swamp. So he doesn't have to go that deep in. I think he's double checking Bombos here to make sure what he saw was what he saw. I know he scouted it earlier, but he's in the area. So maybe he thinks about it. Honestly, this is one of those things I would probably VOD dive at the same time. But maybe he goes for it. He's going back to the mountain. He might be looking at highly or he might be looking at Lonely Island next. Neat meanwhile is going through right side GT. So he's full committal on GT right now. Yeah, sees the shield there. He's like, yeah, it's not there, man. Gonna go to ether now. Yeah, he's gonna clean up the tablets. So he has scouted these. He's just making sure at this point, right? Nate, meanwhile, I want to call it, is making the climb towards Ganon now. So that clock is quickly running out for Andy. This is that point where you really start to think, okay, what did I do? He's going to start running the locations through his head now. I feel like you're doing overworld first, so that's what he was doing there. He's probably thinking about dungeons. This should be it, right? Oh man, if this is it, I think he's got it, guys. This space is like, I don't know, maybe? There's no way I missed this, right? I don't know, man. Like, this seems pretty far fetched. Dude, I laugh if he looked at the torch and left. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Oh god. Yeah, he sees it shaking his head. There it is! <laughs> Space, dude. Oh, someone make that a gif. Oh my god, that was worth, that was worth the cast, guys. <laughs> All right, Andy is, uh, he doesn't know it yet, but the end is near. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to call it for Nate. He's got just a little too much left to do. Uh, he's got the remainder climb plus Ganon here, uh, and he still needs to locate a sword. He still got has quite a few locations he can round out. But man, I, I mean, Andy kind of gave it to him, right? But it's just like you think you would run into a sword, but the sword spots were so dog shit. It just was not gonna. It, there was just no way, you know. And uh, yeah, th this was. You know what? It's kind of a it's kind of a neat way to end, honestly, on a on a tournament. It's I don't think I've seen a tournament finals finish like this before. It's pretty uh it's pretty endearing, honestly. I'm kind of uh, I kind of enjoyed it for its uniqueness, you know. But yeah, we're gonna get our peek into swamp here. Andy's gonna get in here for the first time. Uh, is the sword placement plot armor? Yeah, we can just say the bow sword is the is the plot armor, honestly. We'll just say that's the plot armor. Like him forgetting stuff and thinking for five minutes, that's not necessarily plot armor. 
But he's gonna see this key here immediately, and he's just gonna say, oh, thank God, dude. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> he knows, dude. He sees it. He's resetting immediately. He's going right to Turian. Nate is, like, right on his heels. Oh, yeah, 100% you check immediately. 100%. You have three of four. You are going... This is the immediate play you make. It would have been funny to see him go back and the reaction to it, but honestly, I think these guys have had enough. <laughs> this C was pretty rough, guys. The C was pretty, was pretty obnoxious. Uh, in terms of a finals, I, you know, you couldn't ask for a better spectacle. But, you know, just from a runner's perspective, these guys need an app. They're like, I've, I've had enough, you know, no more. <laughs> uh, why not clear Swamp? They have, he has three or four uh, SM prizes, right? So, statistically speaking, um, from zero to four, he has enough. There's only one out to be four required that would like stop him there so that's why he's like okay i got the key let's just check this first and if he's wrong he comes back so like in terms of him going also through and finding flippers like that like there's zero chance he would go through to the boss like he both these guys are sweating right now like they're probably thinking why isn't the other guy done yet Nate did not beat SM yet, no. I don't think they look miserable. They're not, they're not miserable. Like, Andy's having fun. Uh, Nate looks like he's having fun, too. It's just, you know, it's just the final match, right? They're not taking it that seriously. Do you have to be Z3 first? No, you do not. You can be SM first in this mode. In any SM Z3 mode. Beat uh SM first, sorry. Chat Blue Jays won. Let's go. Red Sox are winning. Let's go. Oh, my God. The double? Chad, I'm so happy right now. Oh, the double. The rare, the rare WW right now. Oh, my God. That Annie's gonna be making his way over to Mother Brain here. Uh, kind of a no-brainer situation from him. The only real thing that can probably stop him is like stand-up freeze or an accidental death at Mother Brain. But you know those formalities out of the window. Not much there. Nate is checking Pyramid Fairy here. Sees nothing. He's pulling out that flute. He's real close to Andy, guys. In terms of, like, this race and, like, how long these seeds go, he's real close. And he is going towards Sash, so he is going to get his Master Sword here. But again, it's just unfortunately a little too little too late. I feel for Nate here because this is, like, one of those moments where if you look back at what happened, like, he doesn't know it yet, but when, like, him and Andy talk, uh, he's going to realize that, yeah, he's just like, oh, no. He's gonna realize that, you know, you had that shot. You just, it's just one of those locations out of the way, right? Oh, he had a great, he had an amazing chance. He had an amazing chance. But it's, again, it's just, when you think of it from that perspective, that's why I was like, I know Andy forgot flippers and it sucks. But when Andy full clear GT and there wasn't a sword, I was like, that's probably the best thing that could have happened to Andy. Because I, f I felt like Nate was going to probably do the same thing. Yeah, that's what happens. 
That makes you want a BOE3. I don't think these guys are going to want to touch this game again, to be honest. Uh, I don't think... I think they're done with Grimace after this. <laughs> Lisa, I want some more. And they're like, no, kitchen's closed. See you later. No more. Andrew the really safe jump there. I thought honestly he got a little too close to Mother Brain's head and uh, the Metroid. It looked a little weird someone jumping that high. Like, I was like, is something bad gonna happen? If Nate had done SM, this would have been pretty close. Yeah, I think Nate would have won if Nate had done SM already. Because while, yeah, it's Master Sword Ganon, he has silvers. This is a really quick fight. Like, all he has to do is defeat Ganon here and just cross that bridge. If that were the case. Oh, he's going to get the amazing pattern here, too. He's going to want to equip magic. Like a blue cane here to save Grace. Or just hookshot. Yeah, yeah, he's fine there. Takes the other hit. I think he has a potion. He's going to want to use it here. That's greedy! Yeah, there's the death. Saw that coming. The third spin, I was like, oh, that's oh no territory. Oh, he has a fairy. Ooh. He knew all along. He's like, yeah, I, I know. I knew I'm good, Solsky. Like, calm down, buddy. All right, and he's done with Mother Brain. He's heading down through Turian exploding and stuff, you know? Typical Friday night gamer stuff, you know? almost there it's almost done with Ganon as well just a couple more silver hits here oh my god can you imagine if this was like the finish and they're both done their bosses <laughs> oh that would have been crazy dude all right Andy is gonna be done with a 341.45 First place. I think Nate just noticed it. He's like, oh shit, I was close. Oh man. What a what a race. What a race, huh? He kept getting away with it. Um I don't know if it's getting away with it. I mean, again, in terms of everything, he full cleared the game, right? He went through a lot. He went through a lot to get there, guys. I can't really give him that hard of a time. You mean the whole tournament? Oh, okay. Sure. I guess you're right there. All right. Uh, I'm going to hop into voice. I'll wait for these guys. I think he's just gonna wait for Nate to finish. He's gonna hop in. Yeah, three four one is pretty long in terms of these two, but again, <laughs> we all know why. You know, like it's. Crazy storyline though, right? Like Nate missing more early, uh, Andy missing the flippers in desert. Uh, pretty wild swings in this one, like really crazy wide. Um, 
I didn't think Nate was super behind. I didn't think Nate was Boo. super oh behind. Oh my god. And Boo. Jesus. I had to cut your audio because all of a sudden the echo came in. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't think you were super behind or Nate was super behind with his, uh, with Morph Ball. And then you just made a sure mockery of this tournament by skipping those flippers. How's it going, Andy? Congratulations. Oh my God, I went in dude, the I Grimace in Memorial. Mode. What's that? I was in full panic mode <laughs> when flippers weren't showing up. And I was like, dude, did I skip something? I don't think I skipped anything. And I was like just retracing all of my areas everywhere. And so while I was doing that, I was like, whatever. I'm just going to go get this, whatever this stupid one key is on Lake Hylia and see what happens. Yeah. Um, I, uh, man. The seed was terrible. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty <laughs> dog shit. Um, you did get a plot armor today. Uh, yeah, was that the was that the key steal for speed? No, that was that was nothing. Nate did that too. No, it was the bow. So I said, and I oh changed God. it later too. All, all the story. So <laughs> it was getting like we we're like, where's progression at this point, right? And you didn't you miss flippers, so you're like, oh okay, I'm gonna go to Hera into TR. So I was like, all right, man. If if Andy gets like bow here, I'm gonna like this is the last tournament I'm ever gonna run. And then I was like, or gravity. And then you got bow, and I just, yeah. <laughs> so I just gave you the plot armor. I lost, I lost the plot for a couple minutes. And then, uh, what is it? Um, I think in terms of the plot armor, it's probably the swords. <laughs> Dude, all those swords were trash. Nate had a substantial lead on you, but he needed a sword. So he literally full clear the game also looking for a sword and he just got one off Sash. Oh, that was his first that was that was his second sword? Yeah, his first one was purple chest. Oh my god. So uh, our friend Nate, unfortunately, uh, almost last location, if not last location morphed. Damn. So he did like all the morphless SM and stuff. So if you're wondering like in terms of why he's like where he's at. And he wasn't done that was kind of the time loss right and you kind of gave it back by not having flips so it was like a pretty substantial swing both ways but kind of met up in the end and then when you full clear gt and you didn't see a sword i was like thinking to myself I'm like you know what there's a real good chance like andy's gonna find the other swords in really bad spots and it's like he might still steal this right so even with the panic mo man you still uh you still pulled it out right I'm more surprised at how quickly I was like, oh my god, Desert Big Chest. Uh, I was proud of myself. Yes. And then I, mad when I was like, yeah, it's 100% Desert Big Chest. I, I, feel like, I feel like that was like around the normal timing too. Like when I forget stuff, it's usually like, you know, it could be like two to 10 minutes, right? Depends on yep. what you're thinking about. But I feel like you're floating around the area enough that it's like, he's going to think about it with the tablets right because you're using book and like that kind of that's where it kind of drives your brain to think is when you're done that you checked all the overworld i'm like all right guys he's done overworld now he's gonna start thinking about dungeons and it was like one of the first i think places you pivoted to i was like yep <laughs> he's got it yeah chat was very happy but yeah God. um yeah because like you went to pod and finished that off and then it was like where else could it be I felt like that was probably the only other like also all of my last options weren't even in logic because i didn't have enough small keys yet like yeah beating beating turtle rock like either of those two checks wasn't in logic mm -hmm. uh same thing with pod my last check wasn't in logic so i was like dude i don't fucking like <laughs> well even happened. even like <laughs> right side gt wasn't in logic i i remember fighting with chat like we went back and forth six times until I was like, oh shit, that's right, Red King was in was in ice and ice was flipper locked, right? So it was like Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, when I was thinking about it uh later. Same or I thought about it when I was doing like purple chest. I was like, oh yeah. Or not purple chest, uh pyramid fairy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh yeah, this isn't technically <laughs> available yet. I just feel um, with these kind of modes in SMZ three keys in general, not just like Grimace, but I feel like anytime I'm I miss something like that, I always like go down those paths that you went down, and it's like you keep finding items, 
And it's like, oh, yeah. well, it's here. Okay, I guess. Okay. I, <laughs> it just gets you into this sense that it's like something's very wrong here, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Nate's just finishing up on Mother Brain here. He's almost done. I don't know if you saw our boy Nate was in the dumpster this whole race. I pulled up his stream. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> He's got like a he's like his camera is in a dumpster like you can oh let me let me yeah. see it's pretty funny actually <laughs> yeah nice oh man there was something else stupid oh dude both of the pits having yeah a boss key and not yep. having the meridia one key yet was that was the dumbest thing that was I really. Had, I had to pick one, and so I was like, "All right, well, I'm gonna take Meridia, I guess, because I'm gonna have to double back, <laughs> anyways." Yeah, it was uh, really crazy. I don't, I don't think I've seen double boss keys in both pits. Like, I don't think I've seen that where you, I've seen it where you've had situations where you've had to go through both pits in SMZ3. I've never seen it in keys where you had to do it for the sake of keys, and it was like kind of dirty too. Like, I think you had the. Uh, no, you didn't have the uh, Meridia one key, right? No, I didn't. So I, I had to leave Meridia and then yep. take Flipper back to the yep. the back portal. And that's what Nate had to do, too. I'm like, this is so <laughs> bad, man. But he had flips, right? So it was a little easier for him. But... And Nate's just finishing up now, too. GG. Hello. Oh, Nate is already here. Hello. Good game. That was exciting to watch. Hello. Good. Oh, I'm glad. Hello. Hello. I really, I really beefed it on the morph ball. <laughs> um. Yeah. But I mean, Andy really beefed it on flippers. <laughs> yeah. I literally had zero checks left in the game besides desert big chest, and I was just panicking, trying oh, to damn. figure out what I skipped. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, it got to the point where, like I was telling Andy, there was like some really massive swings in this race. So, you know, you doing checks without morph hurt for time, but you still found stuff that Andy didn't find, right? Like the first sword you had a lot earlier than Andy, for example, right? That helped you out in a little bit. Um, but the swords were like really gross. Andy found all four. Like the other two swords, Nate, oh were... Pedestal pull to get your Meridia 1 key card to go to beach and get your third sword. And then the fourth sword was uh god, where was it, Andy? It was like it was it was behind the, the Lake Hylia one key for North. Yeah. And it was at it was at Ice Beam. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I almost went there, man. I I put all my chips in GT having a sword over everything else I, I had think left. That's a hundred percent the right call, though, right? Like, and how, got... how much time did I waste full clearing? GT? Yeah, I, I know, I know. Andy <laughs> did it too because again, he's looking for he's looking for flips, but he's also looking for the Criteria boss key still because we know that's in Swamp. But I felt like the big moment was when Andy full clear GT and there wasn't a sword. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> This could be trouble because, like, we knew like there wasn't anything in Meyer, there wasn't anything in GT. I'm like, when does Nate go to like Green Pendant? We didn't know where the other swords were, and then Andy finally revealed them when you're in GT. I was like, oh, this is really bad. <laughs> Heck like, in sword go mode, man. Yeah, it's rough. But again, like in terms of like a finals, I've never cast a finals like this before, right? Like, and I'm not saying like, you know, it's not like kind of self inflicted damage, but. Like, it was just really neat to have a race like this where it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. Right? Like <laughs> it's pretty neat. It's close too, And like, in terms of the finish and everything like that is you were just going through the uh, bridge when Andy just finished. So no, yeah. Good. One, one turry in a way. Yep. Oh, I had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping that me getting speed booster and doing all of that nonsense was like somehow gonna be my way to get ahead. <laughs> yeah. Nope, I did the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you sequence break speed before morph? Yeah. So I, I went there oh. but I reset the key. So I was like, okay, well, it's nice to know that that's there, but I really need to find actual progression and there's only so many checks left. 
and then I ran out of checks. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell did I miss? I did something horribly wrong. Um, so I just, I went back and got speed booster a second time. I was like, I, just, I have to keep it now. I literally have nothing else to do. <laughs> oh man, I, I still had like going into pod left, I think, but I was committing to like, uh, resetting that desert small and going to SM at that point. Uh, and then when the speed showed up, I kept it, and I ended up uh, sparking up Red Tower. Yeah, you you so sure I did. Ended up, uh, <laughs> Twice? I ended up, yeah, I, I couldn't, I did it, and I was like, <laughs> I think it's the left side of this line. And I went up, and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I did Alpha PBs, and then got more fall immediately after, and I was just like, are you fucking kidding me dude so i just went straight back down and finished up red tower and then did Bryn backwards uh yeah that, was... that uh that power bomb door not actually being power bomb locked because of keys finally when it occurred to me i'm just like oh oh no <laughs> i've had a seed where pearl was there once and like pearl led to my morph so that's why i was like oh <laughs> this is the classic keys location right here yeah, it's pretty sneaky. Like, cause again, you're like it's so ingrained in your brain that's a power bomb door, and then, uh oh, it's flashing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was kind of nasty. That was fun though. Uh, after after like two hours, I actually started to feel better about the seed. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, man, just busting out dungeons here and there. I'm not sure where these items are going, but yeah. I was just ready for the four Torian to just have to go back to Swamp, the maximum self ownage. <laughs> yeah, so I I never went back into Thieves Town after the the first front dip, and I nearly full cleared Turtle Rock. Like I went all the way down the Laser Bridge. With only, only had two keys, so I stole the uh, big key door, um, or big chest. Sorry, big key chest, <laughs> door key, whatever you the hell you want to call it. <laughs> Lava key, fuck it, we'll call it that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that that got me to gravity. Like that felt pretty good getting gravity without enough turtle rock keys. I thought maybe that was gonna do some work for me. He probably did the same thing though. Yep. <laughs> Do I knew yeah, I knew I, coming I into this too, and then I was like, uh, on my list was like, dude, are we gonna be like Turtle Rock small key go mode today? Uh, but... uh, I knew coming into this, I had to do some sort of route different than you, or I didn't have a chance. <laughs> Yeah, the seed unfortunately didn't really lead itself to doing crazy things where it didn't make sense to do crazy things i guess the, so it, was the, just, it was just terrible the two sm big keys and sand pit that that pissed me off <laughs> Dude, that was, that was, i didn't have flippers yet so i had to fake i had to ancilla splash delete twice to, to, to oh, Jesus. That shit. um <laughs> Yeah, I went down left pit first, saw wreck shit boss, and I was like, okay, well, I guess I can, I'll check right pit and shack tool, and then right pit was Meridia boss, and I was like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, <laughs> I guess we keep this, and then just leave and go back through the portal again. So, um, I did right first, reset, because I'm like, okay, I need to do a whole nother loop, but I want to verify that left pit is nothing. Left pit was the other big key, and I'm like, okay. Reset again. Now go right side and do the whole loop. God. Yeah, it was pretty obnoxious. And again, we're, in terms of where that one Meridia key card to make that loop easy was on pedestal, like... Yep. It's pretty bad. I totally it's... forgot I had pedestal, like, 
available at a certain point. I was like going in through my brain of like stuff I hadn't done. I was like, oh my god, how long have I had all three of these pens? I I call that out. I was like, I'm kind of surprised you haven't done it earlier. But I was like, yeah, he's probably lost in sauce, you know. So <laughs> the rando yeah. sauce. I never even read pedestal. Like I didn't even have mirror when I did skull lids. I only read it before I opened it, and it was like. Keith, an alien key, it says a day in the beach. I <laughs> just started <laughs> laughing because I'd never seen a one or two key on pedestal before. And I uh, I immediately knew what it was, but I like I, I, I enjoyed the, the little the little quip. Andy, let's talk about your behavior during the race while you're posting copy pasta from a new viewer about <laughs> cheese. That's so fun. I like looked over like I, I was like off and on with looking at my chat while I was doing this and I looked over and saw that shit and I just started cackling to myself. <laughs> I was just like, who is this masked man? Like where did it come from? <laughs> <laughs> if you if you I don't know if Solsky talked about it during the race, but the message was Sweet dreams are made of cheese. Who am I to disabree? I chatter the world and the feta cheese. That's that's the part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody's looking for Stilton. God. Yeah, I did post it in the chat. I was like, why? <laughs> I think I posted it in the chat. Oh well. I saw I saw something in the the race chat. I was like, "Oh, did something bad happen?" I look over. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Just like pay attention to your Game Boy. You're not that guy. <laughs> God. All right, I'm starving. I need to go eat some food. I'm also kind of hungry, so but I'm gonna leave. So GGS, thanks for casting. Thanks for putting on this fantastic, wonderful settings tournament. No worries. Glad yeah, thanks uh, for all the races. Yeah. Glad everyone kind of enjoyed them, right? Like I feel like almost I think everyone pretty much enjoyed them, which was great. Um it's a real treat to cast uh, you know, in general. So again, thanks for letting me cast you guys and uh glad you guys had a, a great time. Ooh, next time it'll be fast Ganon, so we don't <laughs> That's I did, we talked about this <laughs> for like ten minutes, but yeah. All right, guys. Uh, have a great night, all right? Take care, guys. All right. Have a good night. See you, gamers. Later. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for the cast. That's going to do it for the tournament. Thank you so much, guys, for your support and watching. Um, these are a lot of fun. I don't get a lot of chance to do these anymore. So it's just it's a tremendous amount of fun for me to do these. And uh, it wouldn't be that much fun without you guys. So appreciate you guys. And uh, have a great rest of your night. Uh, let's go find someone to host and or raid. Uh, who's getting it? Who's getting it? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. So more do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Kira, thanks for the 200 bits. Appreciate you. Uh, let's read Patty. Let's go smooth and easy for the evening streamers. There's the stream viewers. We're going to sing Ray Patty. Go have fun, guys. I will maybe be back on this weekend. No guarantees, hopefully. Uh, have a great night, guys. Take care.